what is up guys what is up we are back reacting to some more darman videos live on air hopefully my stream doesn't act up and if it does just know i'll be back we're gonna be doing this all night hope you have your popcorn ready hope you have all your snacks what kind of snacks y'all be snacking on let me know in the uh in the comment section and then as always make sure you are following the discord i'm gonna go ahead and pin it to the top of this live chat and it's also in the description of the video and my YouTube about page, but it's discord.gg slash Prince Charming. So make sure you go ahead and subscribe for your boy, show him some support, show him some love. And without further ado, ugh, let's go ahead and get into this. <laughs> All right, first video we got is called Poor Kid at Party Shamed for No Gift. He a broke boy? Be a broke boy. So cool. Once again, you've outdone yourself. This party is absolutely amazing. Uh -huh. Damn, Thank that man so Jay nice snacking in the back. Everything together. I even made all the food myself. Your mom feeds you at home? Have you tried the dip? Mm -mm. Oh, gosh, you've got to try the dip. It's... Mm. What's, what's the dip? PTA potluck coming up, too. Let's do it. Man, that looked like Velveeta dip. Elijah! That looked like Chipotle dip. You ate all the dip? That was supposed to be for the whole party. Didn't your mother teach you how to share? Don't talk about my mama like that. I was just. Really Who she thinks she is? Talking about my mama. I shouldn't have any anyway. I'm on a diet. You actually did me a favor. Girls always on a diet. <laughs> no, honestly, I do feel bad for women sometimes. Cause bro, like I was hanging out with a girl uh, this one time and like, I gave her an ice cream bar, right? And she said, oh, now I can't have anything sweet for the next two weeks. Like, damn, y'all be suffering like that? And you got to deal with men? Oh, Lord. And periods? <laughs> this boy acts like he hasn't eaten in days. Mom, check this out. This is sick. Oh, wow. That's amazing. Who got that for you? Uh, Adam did. <laughs> Thanks, man. Yeah, Ugh, Adam. Cool. He's trying to Adam get. Got you the Lego set. Jordan got you the Darman. Yo, hungry and ass, bro. Is it that serious, set. Jay? That only leaves Elijah. So, Jay. Just let me know you got <laughs> he over here finessing so, snacks. Right <laughs> uh, Jay the finesser. Uh, no, oh, he's even stealing the the uh. What are those called? No. Something rolls? Circus <laughs> rolls? I don't know. I just really wanted an Apple Watch. Pin rolls, pinwheels. Elijah, where is your gift? She got that Karen haircut. Oh, you you already know she's to finna make. Give it to him. <laughs> is that what happened? Why are you pressing me? Like, is the gift for you? No, it's for your daughter. Your daughter not pressing me, so you shouldn't be pressing me. This man finessed all the snacks. He got them all in his backpack. <laughs> Maybe his mom don't feed him at home. Did you have fun at the party? No. He hit a lick. Really. Amanda's mom kept asking me. Dylan, thank you for donating, and Tradex, thank you for donating. Oh, I'm sorry. I can't believe she would even ask that. Don't worry, no one will remember by tomorrow. I'll remember. <laughs> Did you bring what I asked? What, the drugs? Yeah. You, Jay the plug too? I grabbed J as much as I could. Jay got everything in that bag. This is enough. Oh my goodness. So y'all are accomplices. Not, sweetheart. She told him to rob. This is really gonna help us so much. Damn. You know, this is actually a very, very, very sad situation because like, I assume, I assume it wasn't the mother's first go-to to, you know, be about this life to be robbing to be trapping like this <laughs> they're the snack trappers bro <laughs> she put her own son up to it that's how you know they really not eating at home like they have a big bowl of water and ice for dinner and for dessert they have sleep can you imagine oh lord you two stop playing with me bro oh you hungry Hi, Karen. Hi. Her name is Karen. Elijah was just telling me how funny 
we had at the party. Her name is Karen. Okay. Confirmed. Sorry, again, I couldn't make it. Oh, well, it's okay that you couldn't make it. I'm just wondering why you didn't bring a gift for Amanda. Yeah, uh, about that, I ordered it and there was a shipping delay. See, now you're just lying. I don't respect liars. Shopping codes. <laughs> No, I wouldn't know because I always order expedited shipping. Yes. Go ahead and flex. Yeah. <laughs> she flexed on your ass. <laughs> she said I only get expedited. Amanda gets it as soon as Ugh. It Poor. No you get domestic shipping. Poor. Is that food from my party? Oh, don't put her on uh, the spot. Yes, I asked him to grab me some food. I, I didn't have time to eat. I didn't think it was. Damn, y'all got the whole Kroger in your backpack, though. Here you go if you want it back. Ew, I don't want it back. Ah! It's disgusting. <laughs> it's just... First the gift, and now this. I... Look, 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 look. We got to look at this from both sides, guys. We got to look at this from both sides. Because if you look at this realistically, if you invite somebody to your party, and I'm talking about you. You invite somebody to your party, right? And then they show up with no gift, no food, nothing. They just show up with a, with a hungry stomach. That's all they show up with. And then that's not it. They also collect half of your damn snacks, eat all of your chips and dip, and then leave immediately. I will feel some type of way, bro. I'll be like, all right, it's one thing you didn't give me a gift. You know, not everybody got money for a gift like that. You showed up. But you're over here eating all of my food. You're over here stealing all of my snacks. And you're you're taking something to, to, to go? You're taking something to go? I swear it'd be the brokest people who'd be the hungriest. I swear whenever you're ordering pizza and your friend who ain't got no money. Hey, 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 don't forget to add wings, bro. You got wing money? <laughs> She said, ew. <laughs> she said, ew. That, that is so hurtful. First the gift, and now this. I just don't understand. I mean, we all know how much you and Anthony make. Is Anthony not in the picture no more? Is that why? We, we missed you at the party. Uh, is this your car? What happened to the BMW? Oh, uh... He, inv he invested in Dogecoin. He lost it all. He lost it all. Well, see you tomorrow at the potluck. Potluck? For the PTA. All the other moms are bringing desserts and appetizers, so can we get you to bring an entree? Yeah, uh, sure, I'll, I'll figure something out. What is she gonna bring? Okay, great. Ramen noodle casserole. Ooh, those jabs. Uh, ladies, uh, women are so mean to each other. Tomorrow? Like, damn, women. How are you gonna bring? I don't know. Y'all should y'all should stick together, bro. Like it's us men be doing. We'll figure it out. Nah, girls be sticking together. They just fake. So I need to know what happened to Anthony. Did Anthony leave for milk and never come back? Damn. No, I, I shouldn't be laughing at this. <laughs> I shouldn't be laughing at this. <laughs> this is struggle if I've ever seen struggle before, bro. Look, she got not even a full half gallon. She got, she got, she got, she got, she got 50 milliliters of milk left. One egg. <laughs> some mustard and baking soda. What meal are you making out of this, bro? I guess you <laughs> like I said, this this is not funny. I'm just saying, like, damn, they really struggling out here. Damn, like count your blessings, cause you never know how good you have it, bro. You never know how good you have it. She hungry as hell, and look all look 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 at all what she has. One egg? 20 milliliters of milk? And she got baking soda. She got baking soda. 
That's so depressing when you open the fridge, ain't nothing to eat, and you just close it. You're on your last eight dollars. Whew! How long can you, how long can y'all make eight dollars last? I can make eight dollars last um, eight minutes. <laughs> She like Mario. She never paying her house payment. Okay, so we've got the appetizers, the desserts, but uh, missing uh, uh, the entree. Yeah. Where's the entree? Oh, good. There you are. So you gave the most important part bring the food? to the woman you don't oh, like. Um, I... Hi, ladies. I decided to bring two dishes. I hope that's okay. Hey, Erica. Ooh. That's so thoughtful of you. Erica that's saved nice. the day. Yes, that's very kind. Um. Okay, where's yours? I'm so sorry. I I didn't have time to make anything. Well, you could have bought something. That's what some of the moms did. I didn't have time to stop anywhere. I, I feel really bad. Didn't have time. These people are not you your friends. Couldn't have helped you. <laughs> couldn't have used an app to order from. There are lots of ways you could have bought something. Karen, stop it. You know what? Since I brought two dishes, I'm just gonna go ahead and say one of them is from her. It's okay, Karen. Stop well, it. That's very kind of you, but unfortunately, it doesn't work that way. Do you make the rules, Miss PTA right, leader? Um, why don't we eat first? And then she thinks she got authority. Afterwards, unfortunately, we are authority. missing an entree because Cindy decided <laughs> not to bring anything. No, nah, we're fighting, man, bro. <laughs> She's using every single opportunity she can possibly get to put this woman on the spot. Nah, Cindy. You just gonna take that? You gonna, you gonna take that from Karen? You gonna take that from Karen, bro? Nah. Because if there's one thing I know about people, uh, people is that you should never mess with somebody who has nothing to lose. Cindy, you ain't got nothing to lose. <laughs> Your house, you already about to lose it. Ain't nothing in the fridge to lose. <laughs> <laughs> so you should be ready to just go out swinging like life has handed or dealt you a very bad set of cards man <laughs> go out swinging tell life you're just not going to take it bent over man an entree because cindy decided not to bring anything put me on the spot please don't feel bad this is honestly not a big deal. Thanks, Erica. I appreciate you trying to step in for me. Yeah, we like Erica yeah. on this channel. Let's shake it off and go eat some food. Yum, yum, yum. I thought you was on a diet, Erica. Listen. They be lying. What are you doing next week? <laughs> Saturday is Jordan's birthday and they'd love to have you both there. It's actually Elijah's birthday too, so I'll probably- What are you doing? The food is only- Oh, she can't eat? So wow. Not you. Come on, Karen. It's this fine. is foul. No, it's not. As head of the PTA, I make the rules. Oh my gosh, she's drunk with Honestly, power. It's it's fine. It's not fine, girl. You hungry. I'm not that hungry anyway. You know you are. I Your stomach rumbling. The bathroom, so I'll be right back. You have Aaron Yeager or, oh, Cindy. or run for his money. Did you happen to bring Get it? Kid? Rumbling? Okay. Or let me guess. He got delayed again. That's no big Don't make guess. me snatch your Ellen DeGeneres haircut off of your, your, your scout, girl. Like. Cindy. Wait up. She shouldn't have treated you that way. I'm so sorry. And why didn't you slap That's her? Okay. I'm the one who didn't bring anything. I'm so embarrassed. No. This is not a big deal. You ever don't have time again in the future? Just text me. I don't mind. It's not that I didn't have time. It's I'm broke. Not that I don't have any money. But her money ain't up. You work for this giant real estate agency. She ain't got no cash and ducks. He's like the top guy there. No <laughs> dinero. Talking about how you guys are this amazing power couple, even at my agency. What did he run off with the secretary? I worked. My husband's the one that got me fired. What?
Whoa, 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 what? Oh my goodness, your husband got you fired? <laughs> he hates your ass. I don't know if, I don't know how long it, it took you to realize it, but he hates you, girl. He got you fired. He got you fired, your husband? He never liked you. He never once liked you. He ran off with his secretary. I was right. Why do men always run off with their secretary? Like, why is that always their first decision? My husband's the one that got me fired. She, they must have got an argument that morning. He said, I'm going to show you. <laughs> do something like that. I haven't told anyone this. So <laughs> he said, I'm going to get the last laugh. Just don't say anything. But what? I've been really struggling for the past few months. Why did he fire you, though? Maybe it was your fault. Maybe, maybe not. For the longest time, Anthony and I made a great team. We both closed deals, but no one's numbers compared to his. Oh, he had a big number? That's why I wasn't surprised when they decided to promote him. Okay, okay. So it's going well so far. Where does the With turmoil come in? Came a big raise. And a hot secretary? And a hot secretary? And a new secretary. Ah! <laughs> I knew it! I knew it! So it's always <laughs> It's always a secretary then. <laughs> oh tell me I didn't call it, bro. Tell me I didn't call this, man. <laughs> Nah, bro, this bitch bad. She bad, bro. I don't know, man. I'm, I, but she a secretary. Like, listen, guys. Listen, guys. Look, 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 look. She may be bad. Yes. Now nah, let me let me go to the smaller smaller window so y'all can get a good look at her. She is definitely bad. She pretty, bro. She, she got it. She got it. You know, she got it. But at the end of the at the end of the day, she's your secretary. You know. She's not your wifey material. She's not somebody you build a future with. I mean, let me not jump to conclusions. Maybe she does have big dreams and hopes for herself. But usually, usually, it's not the best idea to date a secretary, to leave your wife for a secretary. Secretaries are like the bottle girls of the office. Okay, that's a bad example. <laughs> <laughs> but no, nah, I knew this was coming, bro. She bad though. She bad. Woo! That hair flip. We got. To, we have to watch that again. Go ahead and flip that hair for me, a baby girl. Office. Woo! And a new secretary. Instantly, instantly, instantly. I was so happy for him. And she, she can peep it. With all the success. Whoa! She, she, she got some yams on her too. You, you don't think I can tell? <laughs> bro, when you when you're black, you're able to identi identify yams through clothing. So you know how a girl look even if she's all layered up. You can be ready ready to go snowboarding and I can tell if you got a dumb truck. <laughs> don't, play, don't don't mess with me in my black jeans. Everything was about to change. One day during an open house, I decided to come pay him a surprise visit. And he, he, he was getting busy with her, huh? Turns out I was the one. Oh! Would y'all have folded? I didn't realize he had more than just a working relationship with the secretary. Would y'all have folded? What kind of weak ass lunch was that? No wonder he left you. Apple and chips? <laughs> to make things worse, after we separated, we could no longer work together. So that's how he got you fired. And even though he was the one in the wrong, the brokerage decided to let me go. Woo! Because they didn't want to lose their top agent. That secretary was bad though. Would y'all fumble? Kevin blame him? So not only did I lose my job <laughs> and all my income, I now also have to raise my son all over. He has one cinnamon toast crunch. So these past few months have been the hardest they've ever been. You gotta ration it out, Sonny. Ration it out. So you see... <laughs> this has got to be the worst year of my life. Don't say that. It can always oh get worse. Gosh. I'm so sorry. 
no idea any of that was going Dylan, on. far far sweet. Thank you so much for being a member for three Can months, you? bro. Let me read these donations because y'all being so kind. Dan Trail, thank you so much for that dono. Can I be a mod? Been watching this since 2019. Let's see how long you last on the stream. YPK Bob, thank you so much for that donation. And you know, all y'all want mods. Like, damn. Is that like the VIP club? It is, because you know, all my all my mods are lit, bro. We stay lit. <clears throat> but Dylan, I'm doing well. How are you? Tyler Hackner, thank you so much for being a member for three months. Love your stuff, man. You're hilarious. Thank you so much for that uh kind, kind message. Da Vinci, thanks so much for that dono. Happy G Day, Prince. Keep speaking facts like a G. It's not my birthday, but thank you. <laughs> and so, or Sui, thank you so much, for, so much for that dono. He said, I wouldn't fold. I'm all about the Hispanics. You wouldn't fold? I'm pretty sure she was Hispanic. Was that girl not Hispanic? Surprise visit. Turns out I was. I don't know. It don't matter. She bad. It don't matter. She bad. Decided to let me go <laughs> because they didn't want to lose their top agent. She looked like she got some um some uh so andale andale in her and all my income. I now also have to raise my son all alone. So these past few months have been the hardest they've ever been. And she has a white fridge. That's how you know she broke broke. So you see, that's what's been going on. <clears throat> this has got to be the worst year of my life. Oh my gosh. I'm so sorry. I had no idea any of that was going on. Because you never asked. Can, can you apply for child support? You're it's a long process. You're not on child support? Anthony hired a really expensive divorce attorney, so for it don't, me to deal with that. It doesn't matter. After all these years <laughs> together, I, I still can't believe that our relationship has come down to this. She a goofy. How you, how's well, he not on child support? I know so many companies are going to be looking forward to hiring you. I wish. Anthony has so many connections because he works with so many different agents and he hasn't exactly made it easy for me to move. Damn, on. Anthony is Everybody a demon. Is waiting. Anthony is a Tyler Perry villain, bro. It's one thing to cheat on your wife. It's another thing to leave your wife for your secretary. A whole other thing to get your wife fired because you left your wife for your secretary. And it is a huge whole whole other scenario to stop her to stop her bag he is stopping her bag he is progressively stopping her bag he said you are going to starve how much hate did this man have in his heart for his wife or did the sec is the secretary like whispering all these evilness in his ears i don't know man i don't know man because when you head over heels for a woman you'll do just about anything for her you'll do just about are anything for her coming ladies just a sec. Let her know. Piss off, Karen. You even have a Karen walk. If our kids weren't friends, can we talk more after the meeting? Please. No, I'm. I'm actually gonna go. I'm. I'm just too embarrassed to see everyone again. And I gotta get back to Elijah. Okay, just wait one second, please. Um, I really want you to come to Jordan's birthday party. I really want you there. I don't want you to bring a gift. You don't have to bring a dish. But I know Jordan will be over the moon to share his birthday with Elijah. Man, Erica, you a good person. Can you just think about it, please. Thanks. You a good person. Yes, I will. Okay. Everybody needs Bye. a person like Erica when you're at your lowest. When it feels like the whole world is just against you. Woo! Thank God for Erica. Oh, hey mom. How'd the interview go? Damn, she looked tired. Mm, not good. Oh. But I got something for you. Okay. Got a little cupcake. That's so nice of you. 
Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. He's like, I don't want this dusty ass cupcake. Birthday, dear Elijah. I want my dad. Happy birthday to you. I want to go to bed on a full stomach. <laughs> I'm kidding. He loves his mom clearly, but you know. Happy birthday, sweetheart. I'm sorry I couldn't get you a cake. That's all right. I'm fine with this. Also, I'm, I'm <clears throat> sorry about not being able to get you any gifts. Don't worry about it. Maybe for Christmas. At least he's somewhat understanding. For Christmas. She's like, not even oh, Christmas. I was thinking, <laughs> for my birthday, do you think we can go to the fun zone today? Um. No. MJ. Sweetheart, we don't have money for that. But. At least until I get work. <clears throat> to be fair, kids don't be understanding the value of a dollar. They don't they don't understand when their parents are struggling. Because if you're a good parent, your child shouldn't know. I mean, your kid could have some idea, but your 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 child shouldn't know you're struggling like you're living on your last $5 like you should be able to, you know, try to make it as peaceful as positive as comfortable as you possibly can for them. But yeah, kids just don't understand that sometimes their parents do not have money. So they be they be asking for stuff and I'd be like, damn, like she don't got money. But like, I understand you have a kid. You don't understand this. You don't understand this kind of stuff. You know, you just want you just want people to buy you stuff. You want V-Bucks. You want Roblox. Huh? Roblox or Robux? Okay. I need a girl who's robust. What about me and your girlfriend? <laughs> We're the arcade. That all costs money, bro. I'm sorry. No, sweetheart. Then what are we gonna do? I don't wanna just stay home. I've been here all day. Oh yeah, the birthday party. I was gonna tell his ass he can get a job then. Since you don't wanna be home. See how, see how quick, quickly you wanna be at home all day. Nice <laughs> that one's from us. She just had to let everybody know. I got the race car. <laughs> Hi. I'm so glad you guys made it. Come on in. Yeah. Sorry, we're late. We were just... Why am I not surprised? Oh, brother. Of course you would show up empty-handed. Oh, brother. Let me guess. You just came for the free food? Actually. That's three strikes. Ahead of time. We already have it. That's three strikes, Cindy. You can't keep letting her get away with this. Open it until they got here. Come on. Come on in. Jay got the black forces on. Everybody? No wonder he was stealing in, in the beginning. It's his birthday too. Hi, 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 birthday. Birthday. Come on. Go on. Come on. Have a seat. There's one right there for you. Elijah, this is for you. It's from us. Really? What did he what did he get? A blaster. Oh and Jordan, here's your gift from Elijah. Yeah, he got he, he got a squirt gun. Thanks. They both got some squirt guns. Oh, they can nice they can squirt each other now. Jordan, a gift, but I bet you still haven't gotten anything from my daughter. Damn, girl! Does your daughter need something? She is so pressed. Like, get off of her nuts, man. My seat keeps, like, shooting down. Like I'm damn, um, riding <laughs> a horse. A horse. Anyways, like, damn. Like, is it your daughter that wants something or do you want something? Karen, how do you keep getting invited to these, to, to these functions, to these shindigs? Who keeps giving you an invitation? Stop it right now. We don't need Karen oh, in our lives. I almost forgot. I think while you were ordering Amanda's gift, you put our address on accident. Silly. Damn, Erica. Anyways, Amanda, here is your gift from Elijah and his mom. Thank you so much. Erica, you being a little too- No way. No an Apple God. Watch? An Apple Watch, guys. Oh my, this is so sick. What? This is literally what I've been wanting. Thank you so much. <laughs> Girl, <laughs> you. So much. This is the best. No, you went too far with that one. Uh, you're welcome. 
That's an expensive ass gift. This whole time I thought, I thought you were just making excuses. Now people gonna think I got Apple Watch money. I am so sorry. You're just gonna accept it like that? Oh, brother. Why are you doing all of this for me? Because my husband left me too. Because after everything you told me. Oh, okay. That's the least I could do. I was going to be like, her husband left her and for the secretary. Actually, well. I have one more surprise for you. Mm -hmm. A day full of surprises. Don't be mad at me. Are y'all going to kiss? But after hearing your story. Oh. I had to tell my boss. Who your boss, Darman? And they want to hire you. Immediately. I was going to say it. <laughs> Are you serious? Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> I can't tell you how much I appreciate this. Thank you. Hey, a mortgage broker. I'm looking for <clears throat> with you. Do you know what a mortgage broker does? They break mortgages. Anyways, who there you go, kids. kids. <laughs> Always right, down to educate y'all. Thanks for bringing me here, Mom. Aww. Okay, there's more to the story. I thought it was gonna end there. Several months later, she got her beamer back. Oh, <clears throat> here's the bum. Look, look what the bum dragged in. Hi, I'm Anthony. I'm here to talk to you about listing your house. Oh, you know, that won't be necessary. I actually decided to go with another agent. But I am one of the top salesmen in town. I can get you top dollar. Yeah. I also heard through the grapevine about your reputation. Oh, not the grapevine. What you did to... Oh, well, there she is right now. Uh, go ahead and pull up on your ex in a Porsche? In a... Woo! Smooth criminal. Hi. That's how, that's how you get back. That's how you get back at your ex. Let him know. Let him know. Let him know. I want to know, though, is he still with the secretary or did she leave his ass for, like, the CEO or something? She she, she leveling up. She leveling up, bro. She leveling up. She know the game. She know the game. <laughs> Michael, thank you so much for that donation. Hi, dude. Remember me from high school? Me and you used to make out. Bro, y'all just be... <laughs> y'all just be coming on the internet a lie to just spread misinformation and lie a bunch of favors. I don't know, damn my <laughs> producer K A Beats. Thank you so much for your first super chat, bro. Appreciate that. And Black Neon, thank you so much for that dono. Join the Discord. Let's get it. Hell yeah, let's get it, bro. Discord.gg slash Prince Charming. It's pinned to the top of this live chat, or you can just go to the description of this video. But make sure you are a part of the Discord. It is back. I brought it back, guys. So make sure you join. So that was the first video. Poor kid at party shamed. For no gift. You ain't nothing but a broke boy, 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 broke boy, broke boy, broke boy. Ah, uh, uh, <laughs> uh, all right. Next up, we got mother in law tries to ruin family vacation. What happens? It's pretty damn shocking. Pretty damn shocking. Let's see how she tries to ruin this family vacation. Okay. Or do they? Yeah, they're fine. Hopefully she won't say anything. Okay, the tea is made. Is she the mother-in-law? Probably not. She's probably the mother. Oh, would it would have been bad. Damn, your mother-in-law is tough on you. Let's see, what else? What else? Mom, are you okay? She got you this scared? Yeah, sweetie. I just tiny bit stressed. She said you're you never good enough for my son. Well, hopefully she'll be in a better mood since her birthday's coming up. One can only hope. <laughs> She's here. Oh, there goes Judy. No. Okay, um, uh, clean up a little bit more. Back in my day, if a girl had a big booty, you referred to her as Judy. Clean what? Big booty. Big booty Judy. Big booty Judy with that, uh, 
You shouldn't be playing video games. <laughs> I don't know, Relax, big old duty. Ugh. <laughs> I know, but you know how your grandma Judy feels about them. What does she always say? Grandma Judy yeah, can suck yeah. beans. Playing video games. It's spring break. I'm gonna rot your brain. I'm gonna play video yeah. games when I want Turn to. It off. Coming. Max, I am serious. He almost has his Fortnite uh dub. Took you long enough. Oh, brother. <laughs> Sorry, I had to finish up a couple. <laughs> not even, not even three seconds of opening the door and the mother-in-law already trifling. Took you long enough. Oh, you lucky, you lucky I even opened it. You lucky I even opened it, lady. Woo! Be careful who you marry, be careful who you marry because a lot of times you marry the family as well. Do y'all want to be stuck with a mother-in-law that does stuff like this? That tells you took you long enough when she rings your doorbell. Took you long enough. You look like you just came back from hitting the slots in Vegas. Oh, sorry, I had to finish up a couple things. You look like you're ready for Hawaii. Are you excited to go spend your birthday there with us? I'm more excited to see my grandchildren you insist on keeping me from. I've tried three times to schedule a visit since Christmas. You have canceled every single one. I mean, that's can you not blame her? exactly what happened. Get my bag. Just walking in my house without permission. Maxie, give your grandma Judy a hug. He don't so care about you. <laughs> yeah, he's trying to get that oh, victory he's royale. His brain rot by playing video games again. What happened to the books I bought him for Christmas? They've read them all already. Book stink, right, grandma. Yeah, totally. Is that so? Name one of the plot lines from any of the books you gave Come on, bro. You, you can guess. You can guess. Uh, 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 I died. Uh, Luggage? Suitcase? Why don't I take your bag oh. to your room, Grandma? Diversion. Better Hello? idea. Damn, Chair, you always trying to go down. Why was your flight? You're always trying to go down on me. Oh. I was stuck in a middle seat, which I assume you planned. No, I was on the phone with the airline for over an hour trying to get you an aisle or a window seat. They were sold out. Before you assume, you should really try asking. Ah! Tea? She wasn't Something even listening to you. Off. She wasn't even listening to you. She's ready to judge you now. She's ready to nitpick every one of your decisions. Oh, hello there, Penelope. Hi, Grandma Judy. Are you doing homework on that thing? It's spring break, uh, Grandma. Watching Darman. Oh, movies. Well, I actually learned a lot from that. Oh shit! This chair. What else you can learn a lot from, sweetheart? Stop going down on me. Books. Did the kids chop these? <laughs> oh, I did. <laughs> Here's your oh tea. my gosh, she's so like insufferable. It. She's not gonna like the tea. Terrible. <laughs> I knew something smelled <laughs> off. Where is your honey? <laughs> oh, you don't keep any in the house. I'm highly allergic. Well, I'm highly allergic to disgusting tea. Oh, brother. She thinks she's the queen of England. I would have dumped that tea on her oh, head. Don't just leave this there. And then slap her with my ball sack. Trash. Call that a tea bag. Ugh. What's this? Compost? So you just you just going in through the trash? Those are spoiled. Well, cut off the spoiled parts and use the good parts. Hell That's no! Funny. Do not do that. A little science fact from Prince. Um, even if you can't see the spoiled part on an apple, it's probably still there. So if the apple has spoiled, you can't just simply, you know, cut off the spoiled part because part of the spoiled, you can't see just yet. So it's better to just throw it away. But if you're really hungry, like you hungry, hungry, like you in The Last of Us Apocalypse, <laughs> go for it, bro. Game is game. Well, to be fair, there aren't really any good parts left. That is wasteful thinking. 
I'm guessing it must be really nice to be married to my son. She must think her son. Lawyer. Yeah. At least you're not living on your part-time nurse's salary. Whew. How many insults has that been in the span of five minutes he's been in this house? I've got to get this. You would have oh, caught a, a smooth roundhouse kick. Don't your mother-in-law you haven't seen in six months. You gonna eat that apple? She probably is. Ah! Uh, what is wrong with you, Granny? Grandma Judy, are you excited to spend your birthday with us? I am, but I bet your mother doesn't want me going to Hawaii with you. I mean, the way she so rudely kicked me out of the house <laughs> after things. Yeah, you would easily win that Nana bet. Stay as long as she wanted. Nana only stayed an extra day, and Mom's happier going. Really. Grunthal's already cut. Was that not an apple? Properly. Uh oh, that's she's recutting the stuff she heard. Oh my gosh. Redoing everything. Now she's gonna adjust the fridge. Yep. We're having ham for dinner? Oh gosh. How on earth is she going to cook that without honey? I'm going to go pick up a honey substitute at the store. I gotta go get bell peppers anyway. Would you mind watching the kids so I can go? <laughs> I wouldn't want you picking up groceries by yourself. Uh, no, let's go. Max, get a move on. We're all going to the market. You should have never invite her Come ass on. over. We it's not worth it. Divorce the big time lawyer. You didn't tell me he comes with a, a built in mother. No, no. These are much healthier. Thanks, Judith. Mm -hmm. What would I do without you? <laughs> is that really true? Like the yellows is healthier than the green? I'm getting a lot of phone calls today, huh? Man, mind I'm your sorry, business. I've got to take this. Would I'm an important person. Substitute is just right over there. I got people who want to call me. <laughs> I'm popular. She's gonna get yeah, the actual actually, honey. That sounds perfect. And not the substitute. Go ahead and upgrade the room to a suite. Just put it on my card. Spending my son's money. Unbelievable. She has <laughs> zero regard for money. Grandma Judy, can we get... Oh, absolutely not. Your little brains are already rotting from all those electronics. I will not let your teeth rot, too. Grandma, I have more time with my brain than you have with yours. Like, Make sure you put the real honey back. <laughs> oh, yeah. If we're going to be talking about brains... Sick. I can get she real disrespectful. Wouldn't even be able to go on the trip with us. Is that so? Attempted murder. We wouldn't want that to happen now, would we? Ooh, these grandmas be evil, man. Go, put the candy back. Attempted murder coming up. She's trying to feed her something she's highly allergic to. Oh, you gonna steal? Okay, Grandma, you a little badass. Yeah, I think my mom could probably use some help now. <laughs> you don't she hit a lick. Mind. She insisted on doing everything herself. Mm. Texting at the dinner table. It's a good thing I arrived in time to cook this. It will taste so much better. Oh, <sighs> come on, Ma. That's not necessarily true. Jenna makes a great ham, right? Y'all, y'all some fucking Whovilles? What are y'all, what y'all eating well, hams for? It has been a while since you've tasted mine. Perhaps you've forgotten, son. You know. And it's like. <laughs> Come on, ma. That's time to cook this. It will taste so much better. Y'all eating that? That looks like it should be between two slices of bread, some mayo, and some lettuce. This ain't no. <laughs> She think we some fucking Whovilles, bro. <laughs> Eating green eggs and ham. Wait, wait, that's not from, uh, that's not the Grinch. What is that? What is that? H Horton hears a who? Um, where is that from? Green eggs and ham? Red fish, blue fish, one fish, two fish? Whatever. I got, I, it's, it's one of them. It's one of them. Sorry, I'm not a Dr. Well, Seuss connoisseur. Really true. Jenna makes a great ham, right? Grinch. Damn, they don't even believe it. Well, it has been a while since you've tasted mine. Perhaps you've forgotten, son. You know, Jenna does. <laughs> you tasted your mom's ham? Once, though. How ahead. did your mom's ham taste? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, go ahead and get a piece of your mom's ham. 
And you did use the honey substitute, right? Well, of course. Go on. Look at her trying to kill her daughter-in-law, mm -hmm. man. Mm -hmm. It's really... That throat mm -hmm. gotta close up. Oh, it's... The son's gonna hate you for that. Mm -hmm. He needed her throat. Mm -hmm. That's half the reason he married her. Oh, gosh. No, here it comes. Honey, are you all right? Mm. You see, he won't be able to say that no more. Here it uh, comes. All right. Something's wrong. Okay. Are you insulting my cooking? No, no, it's just... It feels like my throat is closing. Quick, honey, put it in your mouth. This could be my last, sure you uh, last chance. She used whatever <laughs> Jenna bought at the market. You should be asking her. I feel like I can't. And I can't breathe. Whoo! I would be freaking out, dog. I would be flipping out, dude. Being not able to breathe, look, <laughs> that's one of the scariest ways to go. Oh my gosh, I've almost drowned once. And that's scarier, obviously, than, I don't know, I don't know. No, 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 drowning is definitely scarier, because, like, it, 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 it's scarier. There's no argument about that. But I'm not allergic to anything, so I don't know how it feels. So I'm sure you still have, like, your heart racing, you know, you're scared, you're panicking, and you can't breathe. Oh my gosh, I'll never wish that kind of fate on anybody. But I'm gonna go ahead and read these donations because I see some people being so kind to me. Super Blue Bluro, thank you so much for being a member for two months. He said, not Big Booty Judy. Hey, back in my day, if a girl had a big booty, you called her Judy. Big Booty Judy. Big Booty. Ah. Big Booty Judy. Ah. Big Booty. Big Booty Judy. Ah. <laughs> The Court Jester, thank you so much for that huge donation. And it was your first donation on the stream, bro. Appreciate you so much. Big donuts. Big donuts in the chat, guys. Big donuts in the chat for my boy, Court Jester. Can uh, Car Carnell James, thank you so much for your first donation as well. Slayer, thank you so much for being a member for a year, bro. Green Eggs and Ham is from Green Eggs and Ham. <laughs> Okay, Green Eggs and Ham is literally titled Green Eggs and Ham. I'm over here thinking it was like from one of his other books. You know, his other collections. What was your favorite Dr. Seuss book? I, I love I like the Grinch, man. The Grinch was a classic. And Court Jester, thanks so much for another huge dono. He said, I'm your biggest fan. I'll follow you until you love me. Papa, Papa Razzi. He didn't actually say that, but he said, I'm your biggest fan. Thank you so much, bro. <laughs> Carnell with another donation. Appreciate that. Mavitor, thanks so much for that donation. Hello to you too, bro. Core Jester, man, you may be the MVP of tonight's live stream, bro. You, you got yourself a little starter pack. He joined the membership. Make sure you join as a member, guys. Some, some cool perks there. And Thrax Packs. Thank you so much for that donation. You said, what's up, Prince? My boy, been a minute, but I'm always watching your videos, bro. Thank you so much for all the support y'all you all give me. And don't forget, go ahead and follow the Discord pinned to the top of this live chat. It's in the description of all of my videos, or it's just discord.gg slash Prince Charming. But without further ado, let's go back to mother-in-law tries to ruin family vacation. We're going to run it back a bit. Are you sure that you didn't use Honey Ma? I used one of the Jenna see? at the market. My she should be me. asking her. Me. I feel like I can't. And I can't breathe. You want, that's, Mommy, what, that's what you want, you, you want your last words to be? Oh. Jenna, stop being so dramatic. My She's last words would be EpiPen. This happened once when she ate Honey by accident. Yeah, he's <gasps> right. And we can't take any more chances. Look, we got to go take her to the hospital right now. Here, help her. You gotta give her an EpiPen, right? Stay with us, stay with us. Girl, you can breathe. How the hell you get all the way to the hospital not breathing? <laughs> She's dramatic. Jenna, stay with us. She's crashing. Maybe she's just no, no, getting no, no, not no, no. a please, lot please. of air. Maybe that's I what it is. I didn't know her allergy was this bad. Okay, syringe. Ooh, you about to kill your daughter-in-law. Look, look at you. Look at you. Hang on, hang on. She's not responding to the injection. That's not a good sign. You can go to jail, right? She's gone into anaphylactic shock. This is dangerous. How? How? How is this possible? She didn't have anything that she was allergic to. This doesn't make any sense. Are you sure she didn't? Because it's going to determine the treatment we use. Oh, now you gotta fess up, Grandma. My mom's the one that cooked dinner, and she didn't put any honey. Come in. on, Judy. Judy. Lied. 
How could you, Judy? I did put honey on the ham. You put honey on I'm your so ham? I'm so sorry. I didn't mean for it to go this far. I loved your ham. I just thought she didn't want me to go on the trip, and I thought I'd make sure she couldn't go. You see how everything's about her? Judy. Judy. You must... You know what, Judy? You must have been very popular with the boys back then. You know, uh, back then they call it, uh, you're fast. You're a fast young lady. That's why she thinks everything needs to be about her because she had so much attention when she was younger. And now that she's not getting attention no more, she craves it. But before I go back into this video, don't think I didn't see these big donuts. Big donuts. Golly, court jester. He said, I got paid today. Hey, <laughs> court jester, what do you do for a living, bro? Why are you throwing all this money at me? I'm not going to take my clothes off. I'm not going to give you the OnlyFans link, bro. Like, chill. There is not a dollar amount in this world that can get me to reveal the link. It exists, but I'm not going to tell y'all what it is. If y'all ever want that link, um, I'm going to have to do something like Markiplier did. I'm going to need, like, I'm going to need, I, I don't know what I need. <laughs> I need a Lamborghini. <laughs> My parents would disown me if they saw a video of me, you know, shaboing boinging a girl on the internet. They would be so disappointed in me. My mother would probably cry. I couldn't. I couldn't do it. Way to go on the trip, and I thought I'd make sure she couldn't go. You going to jail now, I Judy? I never meant for this to happen. God, how could you do this? I can't believe you. Can you believe this, Jenna? I can. Y'all played too much. This was a prank? Uh, you got doctors what? involved. What is happening? I thought she was going to die. Ooh. Is that what you wanted? No. No, absolutely not. Oh god, I'm I'm just so confused. Let me explain it to you then. You saw her. You see. You saw her taking the uh, the real when honey. When you were at the grocery store, I couldn't help but notice you were buying something on your own. I thought it was strange. Her, but so sketchy. I didn't dig too much into it. <laughs> so sketchy. When we got home, you insisted on doing all the cooking. I know you like to take over the kitchen, but this time you didn't want me around at all, which I found odd. That's when I found your receipt in the trash. Honey, be expensive, y'all. clear to me what your plan was. So, I decided to let a few of my friends at the hospital and Roger know. Y'all can't be wasting the hospital's time and resources like that. Through with it. Like and imagine, <laughs> like imagine someone was there. Because, like, they needed life-saving surgery. And they're like, hold on, sir. We're trying to teach a grandma a lesson. Wait in line. <laughs> Court jester. Big donuts. Big donuts. Big frosted donuts in the chat for this boy, Court jester. Court jester. Are you a YouTuber? How you get money like this, boy? You steal your parents' card? <laughs> don't tell me if you did. Because <laughs> I don't want to give the money back. <laughs> Appreciate that so much, Court Jester. Damn, big donuts, bro. Big donuts. The biggest donuts you have ever seen. Massive donuts. I didn't actually go through with it. And I even gave you a chance to tell the truth. And you just continued to lie. You kept going. I faked like I ate it instead. I was wondering how she was able to stay Casey, alive I never the whole ate time. Because I knew what you were up to all along. Well, I've got to get back to work. So good to see me, Jenna. I'm glad you're feeling better. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you both for all your help. Well, you took a whole doctor and a nurse away for a prank. You know, I'm still in shock. I mean, how could you do this, Mom? I mean, especially how nice Jenna's been to you. Nice? Oh, come on, Roger. Let's be honest. She hates me. 
You hate her! I don't hate you. It's just a little annoying to constantly be criticized for my cooking, my cleaning, my parenting, how much money I spend. Well, you do spend a lot. I know just how hard <laughs> my son works to provide for you all. But she's a part-time nurse, so... Frankly, it hurts me. She got her own money. Part-time nurses make, you know, nice coin. Pretty coin. What? what? I lost my job a few months ago. Oh! Jenny's been picking up a lot of extra hours at the hospital. She's so the she, only one that's pulling any money right now. She's the breadwinner. I was embarrassed. She wears the pants. She's the captain so now. I canceling all the trips. Whenever you wanted to come. So it was you who didn't want me to visit sooner? Wait, if you only have one source of income, then why are you spending money on things like upgrading your hotel room? Not our room, your room. I, I had some special news I wanted to share with you and I wanted to do it while you were in a suite. What's the news? Roger you, didn't even know about it. Are you pregnant? You paid to upgrade my room? Oh, goodness. So what is this big news? Yeah, let's hear it. Well, we wanted to tell you that, uh... We're pregnant. We're, we're pregnant. pregnant. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to tell you on your birthday. <laughs> you gonna have another kid and you lost your job? <laughs> That kid gonna grow up on hand me downs, on hand handed, handed, handy, handy, handy me downs. Woo, another big donut from Court Jester. Court Jester, man. Damn, bro, you going crazy on the stream. MVP Court Jester, big donuts, man. Big donuts. I never understood why. Um, I mean, I guess I can understand it. I guess I can kind of understand it why um, couples will say, we're pregnant like you know because you know the boy can't get pregnant it's the girl who's pregnant but they'd be saying we're pregnant i guess that's just a couple thing let me stop being such a hater let me oh, let me let them enjoy the it best birthday gift you could ever give me what a blessing i'm so sorry about everything jenna i was wrong to assume all those things about you it's like you said earlier instead of assuming i should just ask can you ever find it in your heart to forgive me? Of course, big booty Judy. On one condition. That you never try to kill me again? Okay. No promises. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. Jenna, do you think you can wrap things up? We really need this ring. Right? Yeah, like, yeah, <laughs> I need to do a surgery. Our kids anyway. This man has been waiting. Over here trying to do a prank. I can't believe you let the kids bring video games on vacation. I mean, it's their spring break. There you go. There you go, Judy. Judy right, with the big booty. Here we are. A tea for you. Isn't that on Sar and on Sabi? This one okay. has no honey, correct? That's correct. <laughs> thank you. You're welcome. And thank you for this vacation. Cheers. Cheers. See, I guess even if you hate somebody, you can still find a way to make peace with them. Wait, is it honey? Oh. Huh? Nah, she, she's messing. Oh, she's pregnant. Oh my goodness. Ill. Did this have honey in it after all? What's going on? No, I think I'm just a little... You threw up on a plane? Now the whole plane gonna smell like I was fucking... we'd have to go through that honey incident all over. Tuna! And, and stomach acid. Ew! Ew! I hate when people fart or throw up on a plane, bro. It's like it's like the scent be be baked in. <laughs> Woo! Court Jester with another big donut, bro. Y'all are going crazy with this stream, man. I'm I'm gonna be able to afford rent this month because of y'all. Thank you guys so much. I was just about to get evicted, but thanks to Court Jester and everybody else donating. Now I can pay it and get good men off my back for another month, bro. But that was mother-in-law tries to ruin family vacation and fails miserably. Well, she almost killed her daughter-in-law, but you know.
all's forgiven, right? <laughs> Someone almost killed me, bro. I don't think I'll forgive them that fast. Like, I'll probably, you know, be able to forgive you in the future. But I for sure as hell not going to go to Hawaii with you the next week. Like, you just try to poison me. You got to give me at least a month to, to analyze, to process what just happened. <laughs> All right. Uh, this uh, video is called Homeless Man Saves Life of 10-Year-Old. What happens next is shocking. And thank you so much, St. Fisudo. Thank you so much for paying your late fee. As always, if you are ever late to one of my streams, you got to pay your $5 late fee. I don't make the rules. I simply enforce them. So, yeah, if you're ever late, you got to pay a late fee. He said he's switching to Blockbuster. I think you're a little bit too late for that. <laughs> All right. Homeless man saves life of 10-year-old. What happens next is shocking. And then my four shop is close to where I stay. And okay. Okay. Shop in the city. Some brothers. Hey, Marquette. Some brothers. Can I get a loan? Bro, I look like a charity. Get you a job, man. Right? As soon as black people get money, everybody wants some. With a homeless sign with Markel over there. By his tight. Finally, Darman doing a, a a video for the homies. Sorry. It's okay. I'm still getting the hang of it. Okay. It's a nice car. Thank you. You're welcome. Is it remote control? He doesn't seem like a homeless man on drugs. Hey, hey, sir. Back up. But I understand. I am. Uh, that's a little mean. Sorry for the trouble. That's a little mean. Look, 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 I understand. Like, you don't want your daughter near a homeless man. You don't know what they're gonna do. Like, they could be crazy. They could be on drugs. They could just want to smash a brick upside of your head. You know, they're homeless people. They're unpredictable. But not all are like that. And I understand the dad's reaction. Like, if a random ass homeless man was talking to my daughter, my fictional daughter, which I, because I don't have a daughter, I would do the same thing. I wouldn't insult him, though. I'll just be like, can I help you with anything? Like, is anything the issue? Like, what you looking for, man? But you ain't got to be mean like that. Green Bay Packer built ass. Wait, wait, wait. That's a that's 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 baseball. What what team is that? Sorry for the trouble. I said Green Bay Packers. That's the um I don't watch baseball. My name's John. Court Jester, I know you did not just give I me another big donut. Wondering if I could use your bathroom. Court that's Jester with another huge donut. Go Golly. Street where you belong. Please, sir. Damn, bro. Get out of here. You stink at my shop. Sorry to be of trouble. Damn, that was that was cold. Dad, why didn't you let him use the restroom? He seemed like a nice guy. That's your dad. So his his wife is guys like that in my shop. His wife is white. It's bad for business. <laughs> Just look at him. Yo, this actor always getting with some white chick, bro. <laughs> I get damn near every video I watch him in, he be leaving his black wife for a white woman. <laughs> He said, if it's not snowing, I ain't going. Can y'all respect it? Can y'all respect it? If it's not snowing, I ain't going. Crazy, crazy, crazy story. I, I, I got with a black girl, right? And she actually thought, let me ask y'all a question. Do I seem like the type of black guy? And y'all know the type that only talks to white girls and only likes white girls. Do I seem the type? I want you to put a one for yes, two for no. So if I seem like the type that only talks to white girls, if it's not snowing, I ain't going, put one. If you think that I am more open-minded <laughs> and don't discriminate like that, put two. I want to see. I want to see. I'm seeing some ones. Seeing some ones. Damn, a lot of ones? Do y'all really think like I'm like that? No, I see, I see some twos. I see some twos. I see some twos. Okay, we're getting some twos. Look, guys. Look, guys. I'm not gonna lie to y'all, like, <laughs> you know, I, I, you know, I, I have a fair share of snow bunny, you know, I like me a snow bunny here and there. I'm actually, uh, I'm actually talking to one right now. Hopefully, she's not watching the stream. If she is, what's up, baby girl? You know, you, you, you know what we did. Uh, <laughs> what night was it? <laughs> uh, Friday night. Friday night, going into Saturday morning. And then, and then also Sunday night. <laughs> hey, hey, how, how, how they healing up? 
Are they gone yet? You know, you got to mark your territory. All right, I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. YouTube. Chill, 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 YouTube. I didn't say anything. I didn't say anything, YouTube. So you can't get mad at me. Slow. slow whoa. Big donuts in the chat. Big donuts. Yo, I'm, th I'm probably going to hit a record with this stream. Court Jester, he hit me with a 50, and then he hit me with a 20. He said, Prince, the reason why I'm doing so many donations to make up for all the late fees. This man said, I've been late to all of your streams, so I got to make up for all of them. I respect it. Reginald with a big donut. And this was the first super chat from Reginald. Court Jester with another big donut, man. Court Jester. Court Jester, you know what I'm doing for you? You already know what I'm doing. You a moderator. You're a managing moderator. You're a managing moderator. That's power. That's power right there. Court Jester, the, manage, the, the managing moderator. That's dope. And it kind of goes with the whole Prince Charming thing because Prince, Jester, King, Queen. All right, Court Jester. Enjoy your mod ship. All right, let's get back into it. This, this guy... Like, you don't got to be yelling at homeless people like that, bro. You ain't got to be doing Dad, all that. why didn't you let him use the restroom? He seemed like a nice guy. Because I don't want guys like that in my shop. It's bad for business. Just look at it. Yo, fit bad for business. <laughs> I'm kidding. I can't but dress. I thought you should never judge someone before you get to know them. There's but we all do anyways. He's a drug addict. Ooh. Probably dangerous. Mm. The same goes... If you feed a stray, it'll keep coming back. Ooh. We definitely don't want that, right? How else is a stray supposed to get fed? You're missing a point. Just be careful next time, okay? I mean, obviously we know. Damn, I hate seeing people down on their luck like that, bro. Cause you don't know, you don't know how they're homeless. Like he could have no. lost his house over some BS Not that was the alarm on. out of his control. Probably. You always do. Yeah. Alright, we'll stay right here. Too much, too many donuts. Donut overload. Reginald, Reginald, Reginald. Ha he, 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 he handed me a Ben, a Benny. He handed me a Franklin. He said, Frankie, Frank, uh, Frank. Uh, uh. Y'all know that song, Lean to That, uh, Lean to Right. Go Frank with it. Uh, go Frank with it. Go Frank with it. Uh. <laughs> He gave me a whole Benjamin Franklin, bro. Reginald, thank you so much for that big donut. Fresh Prince 2.0, thank you for your first donation as well. And Mega Memes, thank you so much for being a member for two months. Sorry for being late. It's okay. It's okay. I'll let you. I'll let you slide on the late fee for now, bro. And John Moore in 13 months as a member. Hey guys, join as a member, bro. We be lit on this channel. More live streams to come, and I'm gonna be playing um more games to come. Be right back. A lot of things are going to be coming. Probably. You always do. Yeah. All right. We'll stay right here. I'll be right back. He says stay right there. And the first thing she's going to do is not stay right there. Okay. No, she's staying right there. Oh, no. Oh, no. What did your dad just say? He said, stay wait, right wait, there. Wait, here you go. Now. Wait there. I'll get it. I'll get it. Why, wait, like, was the driver on, your, on, on, on her phone? How can you not see a person coming like that? Pause. Texting and driving. She's probably having an argument with her go. boyfriend. Now, keep a watch out, all right? She went through his phone. Thank you. Of course. You know, I have a daughter just a little older. Hey, 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 hey. What do you think you're doing, man? I was just trying to help her. Her remote. Stay away from my daughter, you understand me? But, Daddy. Go inside the shop. But. Now, Zuri. I don't know why you think it's okay to talk to my kid. Sir, it's not what you think. It's really not what you think. Just get out of here for I decide to stop being nice. Okay. 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 Y'all think he will win in that fight? 
I don't know. Homeless people don't have anything to lose. I'm not. I'm never finding a homeless man. <laughs> finding a homeless man is the last thing I would ever do. This man will fight you with the most the most unconventional weapons. Like he'll just stick his fingers in his butt, <laughs> pull out a, a good old <laughs> tootsie roll, and just shove it in your face, bro. That's how they'll fight you. Like you really gonna fight somebody who has nothing to lose? Gonna smash a a a, a beer bottle over your head? <laughs> He gonna spin your mouth and you're not even gonna want to fight no more. <laughs> Woo! Woo! Big donuts! Even more big donuts! My boy Reginald with another big donut and my boy Court Jester. Reginald. Reginald, you know what you're becoming? You're becoming a managing moderator. Look at you, Reginald. My MVPs, Reginald and Court Jester. Damn, y'all blessing me today, bro. I'm going to be able to put food on the table tonight, man. I was going to have sleep for dinner tonight, but now I can actually order some food, man. I was going to be him. I was going to hey. be the homeless man, but thank you. Hey. Big donuts. Get up, man. Get up. Yeah. Get up, man. What are you doing? Get up. What do you want from me? I don't have anything. What do you want? He's like, is this this I'm guy again? Trying to, trying to make my barbershop into a homeless encampment? No, that's not the case. That's not happening. Oh man, bro. Those are my personal possessions. Dad, no. You should have thought about that before you decided to loiter in front of my property. I'm sorry, sir. You think I got to where I am in life by letting homeless people sleep in front of my barbershop? No, I really don't, don't like this guy. Damn, leave his stuff alone, bro. Dad, stop it. No, Zuri. That's my stuff. That's his stuff. From the street where you belong. Yes, yeah, sir. Right away, sir. Oh. Oh. Now, how you going to do that, bro? How you going to do that? He said, come come get your shit from the street. Come back to the street where you belong. And you said, yes, sir, right away, sir. Stand up. Stand up. Stand up for yourself, man. You got at least 50, 75 pounds on this guy. Just bear hug him with your armpits. He'll tap out. <laughs> that is so messed up. He said, yes, sir, right away, sir. That broke my heart a little bit, bro. That actually broke my heart a little bit, man. Golly. Where you belong? Yes, sir. Right away, sir. Now I'm gonna call the police for trespassing. No, 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 no police. No police, please, sir. Do not call the police. Yes, 911, I have an emergency. I'll get my stuff, I'll put in a bag. I'll yes. disappear from yeah, this Yeah, I'm at my barbershop and there's this homeless man trespassing. There's no jail, I cannot go to jail. And my daughter's sister for her life. Yes. Oh my gosh. Damn, this girl is always in the middle of the street. Yeah, ten minutes. And how do you not see that car coming? Barry, no. Na <laughs> I was gonna say natural selection, like Zuri, always in the middle of the street. Call an ambulance. Call an ambulance. Yes, please. Send an ambulance right now. Ha! <laughs> he laying like a <laughs> He ain't right like now. a Family Guy character who just got injured. <laughs> you know how they lay me like twisted back and their arm be twisted back. Ah! <laughs> ah! I bet you feel silly now, Dad, huh? Where am I? Thank God it's your where is she? You're in the hospital, John. The hospital? Your daughter, is she okay? Yes, yeah, she's okay. Come here, babe. So now you she's feeling right. different. Thanks to you. Thank you so much for everything. Of course, little one. Of course. I can't believe you still worried about her instead of yourself. <laughs> Would y'all have saved her? I don't know, man. Listen, um, My whole thing is like, why are you in the middle of the street? I'm really sorry about how I treated you. Because now I got to get in the middle of the street to understand. save you. 
homeless people aren't as nice as you. And I was just trying to protect my daughter. Were you jumped by homeless people when you're a kid? Yeah, I man. Like, <laughs> yes, trauma. I also know what it's <laughs> like to be a protective father. Yeah, he clearly had a daughter. He had a stuffed animal oh, yeah. in his uh, trash bag. I wasn't bag. always like this. So you see, or as you see, or you see, you see. Okay, he was one of them. Just a few years ago, life seemed perfect. Wow, he looks so different. Golly. I was married. Got your nose. Decent job. <laughs> and my daughter Shayla is my whole world. What happened to Shayla? In the beginning of our marriage. Oh no. My wife was an up and coming realtor. Your wife had Eventually, expensive taste. She became a lot more successful. And Ooh. It started getting to her head. Mm. Nah. Becoming realtor. How are you gonna flex on your husband like that? Eventually, she became a She said ew, poor, and successful. then pulled out the Franklins. She pulled out that blue money. <laughs> or black and white because it's clearly fake money but you know blue money and she gonna roll her eyes I, I can't believe you just try to give me green money ill gross poor broke I'm leaving you that's exactly what's going through her head right now but if we get a big come up and want to leave the girl for our, our secretary we're the bad guys but if they get a big come up and then want to leave us for the pool boy <laughs> <laughs> One day, while she was at work, I came to pay her a visit. Oh no, she was getting pounded. And let's just say her rich clothes she always spent a lot of time with was more than just a client. Was his pants down? The client spent a lot of time. Let's just. What were they about to do? Damn, bro, you got caught. You got caught. And the worst part is, he's the broke one. He's the broke one. He, he as in the, the current homeless guy. So, like, imagine catching your rich wife cheating on you. Your rich wife who pays the bills. Imagine you catch her cheating on you. What do you even do at that point? Like, do you let it slide? Because, you know, she's the one who's paying the bills. Without her, you'll be on the street. You know, real players, real, real players will divorce them and take half day stuff. Ugh. That's how that's how a real player would do it. He paid her a visit. Never pay them a visit if they're not expecting you. This is gonna hurt your own feelings. Let's just say her rich client that she'd always spent a lot of time with. I told you, bro. I mean, he's not a pool boy, but you know, he's Latin. <laughs> <laughs> Instead of feeling any remorse whatsoever, his name is Esteban. And in our family, she said and deuces to the daughter. Man wow. Me and Shayla behind. She said, "I'm going to leave with Fernando. Fernando knows how to treat a woman." To everything afloat. <laughs> but I was so depressed. A lot of days, I, I couldn't even get out of bed. So I lost my job. Ah, uh, depression. And not long after that, our home. And then your bitches, bro. Nah, the bitches is what goes first. No, second. You lose the money. I ended up on the street. And then you lose the bitches, and then you... And no, take long. money home, and then the bitches. Child Protective Services come and take my little girl away from me. I mean, can you blame them, honestly? Would you... That had to be the hardest day of my life. Do you want your daughter on the street? So you see, in a very short amount of time, I lost everything. I lost my wife. I lost my job. I lost my home. I even lost my daughter. Oh, man, you've had it hard. I plan for my life to go this way. You've had it hard, bro. I'm surprised you, you, life made you didn't go place. postal. Guys, I can't believe that happened to you. And this is what I was saying in the beginning. Not all homeless people are there because they're schizophrenic or they're on drugs or they're this or that they're that. Some people really actually 
had like the worst luck ever. Like luck that you read about or watch in movies. Cause this kind of situation happening, you marrying somebody, that person you marry does well. You would think that means good for your marriage, right? No, you find her with Fernando Esteban, uh, uh, <laughs> Eduardo. <laughs> and now she wants to leave you for some, for some, <laughs> for some papi chulo. <laughs> and now you're homeless. Like what? What kind of, what kind of life is that, bro? Give me the revolver. <laughs> let, let, let me end this now. <laughs> Super Talents, thank you so much for that donation, bro. Appreciate you so much. Uh, St. Fasudo, thanks so much for that dono. He said, I hope he gets a DWB. Driving while black. <laughs> I think that's what DWB means, driving while black. <laughs> My boy, Mega Memes, thank you so much for that donut. He said, I will pay double late fee. Let me help you with the money record anyways. Ugh. Ugh. He heard about my mixtape. He heard about my mixtape. He heard that I was trying to drop a project for the streets because the streets need to hear what I got to speak. He said, let me go ahead and pay for your studio time. I appreciate that mega memes. Thank you. Uh, yeah, it's Prince Charming. Yeah, I'm really, uh, uh, Charming, huh? Like what? Yeah, put it in your butt. Huh, let's go to my hut because I'm from Africa, but we don't ride lines. Yeah, what? I'm high -ing. I'm whying. Uh, okay. You see, this is why I'm paying for studio time because I'm practicing, you know, practice makes perfect. Nobody just is able to go up to the mic and just spit, unless you're Lil Wayne. <laughs> Court Jester, <laughs> thank you so much for that donation, bro. He said, Prince Charming, I'm here with another big ad donut. Hello, it's nice to see you. He said, hello, it's nice to see you live. Greetings from America. And then he went along and put another big donation, bro. Where are you getting all this money from? Are you are you are you flipping bricks, Court Jester? Are you flipping bricks, bro? Did you win a, a Mr. Beast challenge? Are you Mr. Beast? Hmm. All right, let's get back to the video. But thank you so much for that huge donation. Don't forget to join the Discord. Link is pinned to the top of this live chat and in the description of this video. But let's return to homeless man saves the life of a ten year old. Let's run it back, no turbo. Ooh, 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 ooh. Oh my gosh. I can't believe that happened to you. Believe it. Time. How come you didn't get a new job or try to get your daughter back? New job? You think I didn't try? I went down a downward spiral. I could never dig myself out. <sighs> Where's your daughter now? People take one look at you. And yep. They know everything there is yep. to know about you. Exactly what he did. I guess I'm guilty of that too. I realize now was there was to tell me that you really shouldn't judge someone before you get to know them. But we still do anyways. So Isn't that crazy? Like we know we're not supposed to. And I should know better. Yet so we I'm, still do it every time. My wife isn't in the picture anymore either. What happened to your wife? Being a single father, mm. a lot of people look at you different. Especially when you have a light-skinned oh, kid. Yeah. At least you still got your daughter there. Uh, I'd do anything, anything to get my Shayla back. <laughs> Shayla. Who am I kidding? I can't even get a job. Bro, there's still hope. Don't give up hope, man. You know what? I think I might be able to help with that. You gonna make him a barber? He gonna, he gonna be giving giving niggas fades? <laughs> oh, he's gonna be sweeping. Sorry, John. Oh, that's quite all right, little. Uh, okay, you looking fresh. Okay. You see, look what a haircut and a trim can do. Here's your paycheck. Wow, thank you, Mark Hill. Yeah. Uh, you know, I thought he was gonna be out here giving now niggas fades. <laughs> more of these, I could probably get a car. Get some crispy ass lineups. Maybe God willing. And then? Maybe next year I could uh, try to get 
Shayla back. I believe you can get Shayla, Shayla back a whole nother year. in your teeth. Well, I made a bunch of phone calls, pulled a few strings, and... What kind of strings you got? You're a barber. Shayla, oh my goodness. Yeah, bar bar barbers got strings like that? Thank you. I thought I would never see you again. You think I would let that happen? I've missed you so much. I mean, you almost did, though. <laughs> no, this is positive. Let's be happy. <laughs> oh, you must be... Oh, Janice. Her mom. Well, foster, foster mom. mom. And I like to call her mom. Janice is so nice. To okay, me. okay. Okay, Thank maybe you. maybe Thank he you. likes Thank Janice too. Me. I'm John. Janice and John. I know. <laughs> Ugh, she a fan. She talks about you all the time. She already a fan. She really loves you. Go ahead and raise her up. Go ahead and raise her up, bro. This is your chance. I uh I don't want to spoil your moment, but does this mean that my days with my sweet girl are limited? Well, I, I don't know how the social service stuff works, but uh, I mean, I hope you could still be a part of her life, of, of our lives. <laughs> I like that very much. <laughs> what a come up! What a come up! Just the other week, he was he was living on the streets, no food, nothing, personal belongings in a trash bag. Now he got his daughter back. He got a job. He has a fresh lineup. Nice, clean be a beard. And he got his bitches back. He got, he got some hoes. He got some hoes, bro. Do you, do you see how life can turn? And, and you had no idea. You had no idea it was going to turn for you. Don't give up. Don't give up. It is not time to give up yet. To give up hope. Because you never know when life is just going to do a complete 180 for you. That's what just happened with my boy John right here, bro. He, he got hoes now. He got a job. He got a, he got a fade. He got his daughter back. And he got hoes, bro. What more can you ask for? I mean, me personally, I'll be like, you can keep the daughter, but. <laughs> that's, that's only because y'all know I don't like kids. <laughs> that's a joke. It was a joke. It was a joke. Look, it's a stray puppy. I'll take care of it. No, 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 wait, hold on. Let me see if I can find some food around here. I thought you said you shouldn't never feed a stray. Damn. Well, that was the old me. And. How else is it supposed to get fed, huh? All right, well, I'll be right back. Don't let that cute little puppy leave. Oh. All right, that was a beautiful, 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 beautiful story. Ooh, ooh, beautiful, 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 beautiful story. Ooh, gotta do it like this. You gotta do it smooth. Ooh, whoa. Slow down like yeah. Ugh, ugh, ugh. Relax. Prince, ooh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh yeah, ah, uh, ah, uh, yeah. Hey, relax, uh, relax. Stop, quit. Uh, ooh, ooh. Stop, don't do that. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Don't do that. Ooh, ah, ah. Stop. Don't do that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Next up, let me read up these donations. Woohoo! My boys, my boys, my boys. Y'all have been blessing me this live stream. If I can, if I can come through the screen and kiss you right now, I wouldn't. Cause I would don't want to go to jail. <laughs> but I'll give you a pretty cool fist bump. Well, I'll be like, put it there, homie. <laughs> Foxy Gamer, thank you so much for that donation. That was your first super chat. Appreciate, appreciate you, me being your first super chat, you know? Kratos as well. Thank you so much for donating. When is your next game coming out? I can't wait, Kratos. It was very fun. And Reginald, thank you so much for that dono. He said, love you, Prince. Can you finish playing Red Dead 2? Man, you see, I want to finish this so bad because I know it's a fun game, but it's like nobody watches it. Like nobody watches much of the gaming live streams unless I pay like play like a super popular game. Like if I if I was playing Hogwarts Legacy, I probably would have been getting views. But you know, when it comes to games like that, I like taking my time. All right, enough dilly dallying. We're gonna watch Kid Breaks in School for Answers. He instantly regrets it. He breaking into school for some answers. He ain't study. He ain't study. 
Look at him. He's sleeping. Of course he didn't study. <clears throat> Wait, what's his name? His name's Joey. Joey, wake up, man. Oh, uh, don't hit me with a spitball on my neck? Basically gave him a hickey. <clears throat> oh gosh. It's her. <clears throat> you got some huh? phlegm in your throat? Your, your last quiz, Mr. Benedetti. Hey, D is passing. If you time studying and less time napping during my class, your grades would improve. D is passing though. All right, everyone. Remember, we have a final exam on Monday before summer break. Joey Benedetti, I need to see you before you leave. Everyone else, have a great day. Why did you have to last name me? <clears throat> Why are you keeping me after class? Do you like me? <laughs> you feeling me? <laughs> uh. Man, I can't be the only one. You know those stories uh, that like you be hearing how like, you know, a teacher has been caught, you know, doing stuff with a student. I'm just like, where are these teachers when I, I mean, I, I did have teachers like that, but like, why didn't they talk to me? Man, I would have loved to be uh, traumatized. <laughs> I'm sorry I fell asleep. It won't happen again. You said that the last few times. I'm concerned that you're falling behind Joey. This last quiz, your homework assignments, you're not where you need to be to move on to Algebra 1 next year. If you don't get an A on the final, then you're gonna have to go to summer school and try again. Ooh, you don't wanna go to summer school. Over. It's bad enough the first time around. Hey, lots of kids love my class. Only the nerdy ones. I'm sorry, what is true? She seemed like a cool teacher though. Here's the thing, Joey. She's trying to help him I out. I know that you're smart. But judging from your work, you seem to take a lot of shortcuts. My grandma used to say, if you cut corners, then you'll just keep going in circles. Well, your grandma your had grandma dementia. Said, it must be true. <laughs> I'm serious, I, I, I want to believe everything your grandma said. If you want to my class, then I suggest you get a tutor. Here's the name. She also says she dated JFK. <laughs> she can help you with your final, mm -hmm. but you have to start right away. Okay. All right. Don't worry, Miss Amelia. That won't be a problem. So she just gave you the ditches That's to a girl to go to school. who gonna help you study? This teacher giving you riz, bro. What's not a like about her? What happened? Miss Amelia is gonna fail me if I don't get an A on the final. You got a New York so fitted cap on. Ugh. So you're not going to Kim's party? This white boy got some seasoning. I wasn't planning on going alone, but I guess I don't really have a choice. Molly's gonna be there and I wanna talk to her. Who said anything about studying? I don't need to study. Oh I my gosh. There's a <clears throat> my friend. How are you going to get an A without simple? I saw Miss Malia's answer key on her desk. I get a hold of that. I pass pre algebra. That's simple to you. you get to talk to Molly. And we'll all live happily ever after. And That's simple to him. She's always in her oh house. my gosh, doing all this really extra work just so he doesn't have to study. Turkey. Just in time for the party. Breaking and entering Our just so you don't have to study. Party. We can just say that we're spending the night at each no, other's house. No, no, no. You can get suspended or expelled. And not go to the party. And I won't be able to talk to Molly. Not a chance. <laughs> my least favorite thing to do is study. And maybe eat my mom's vegetables. They're probably both high for us. No, 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 that's way too risky. He wants to talk to Molly, but well, he ain't gonna risk it, bro. Grandma says, high risk, high reward. Your grandma said that? No. This kid is so shy, Steve, bro. Like, <laughs> I'm not like, he plays these, these type of roles so perfectly. Like, I believe he do got a grandma that do say high risk, high reward. I, like, it's so hard to explain. Like, he looked like a shysty ass kid, bro. Like, <laughs> I don't know if you know Ash Trey from that show Euphoria, but that would be like a comparison. I feel like he know people. Like, he, he low-key connected. <laughs> he just give off that white boy, you know, like, that white boy swag like that, bro. Grandma says. He seemed like I a cool risk, kid. I reward. Your grandma said that? No. But when Mrs. Malia said that her grandma said something, it sounded pretty official, so I thought I'd try it. You seem like a hustler, you know? <laughs> if I fail, we can't hang this summer. You all about that you really hustle. Want that? Come on, for your best friend. Fine, fine, please. Fine, 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 fine. As long as it's in and out, 
And you owe me one. Yes! Have any bright ideas on how we're gonna pull this off? I'm one step ahead of you. I wanna trust any of his. Eh, he a hustler. Right on schedule. He may have a good idea. Y'all already know who I am. My name's Telfer. <laughs> there you go. There you go. That security guard should be fired. How are you gonna leave without closing the door properly? Where are your ski masks at? You're wearing all black, but you're not covering your face. All right, just take a picture of it in and out. In and out, in and out. Celebrate. We get to the party. It's time to bounce. It's time to bounce. It's time to bounce. Put everything back originally where it was. Don't set off any alarms. Or I okay, set. okay. High risk, high reward. They made it out. Nice I job. Oh! You're stuck in school. We have a problem. No problem. How do you get out of this situation? What are your options? The janitor probably put that there. Do you pray to you whatever god you worship? I have an idea. What? You try the doors through that exit, and I'll try the doors through the cafeteria. Okay. And there's cameras everywhere in this school, bro. Y'all should have brought a ski mask. Y'all should have brought y'all shysty mask, man. This was locked too. Come on now. Oh. Face all over the cameras. How do you get out of this situation? We can call for help. Then people will know that we snuck in. Uh, out through a window? No, you don't want to break stuff. Dude, the alarm will go off and the cops will be called. Yeah, yeah. and then you'll get in even more trouble. You're so smart. You're the reason we're in this situation. How do you get out of this situation? Very interesting. You know, we're stuck here. Unless you magically find a way to pick a lock. Well, that's it. Oh my gosh. What if Mrs. Malia left a few bobby pins in her office? You're gonna you're gonna pick that master bolt with that? I'd love to see it, bro. That looks like industrial grade. Maybe not. Damn. I don't, yeah, I'm, you're, Anna's oh, Chinese? Oh yeah, you're not getting out of there. Gosh, they make it look so easy on TV. Yeah, everything on TV's real, right? Just like Khaleesi, Mother of Dragons. I wish, I wish it was real. Real person too, right? Wait a second, that's Ooh, it. Khaleesi, man. Huh? That's when I fell in love with Game of Thrones. Kind of hurt having to see my wife, you know. Get rammed by that uh, <laughs> that uh, dude who played Aquaman, the Dothraki. Okay, they finished just break the bolts. I like it. Cause nobody will be, you know, able to prove that y'all were the one who uh, broke it. Work with me. Hey, come on, just let me try it. You're gonna need way bigger pliers. What are y'all doing? Bro, that is what y'all were trying to do with that? I said pliers. Y'all need bolt cutters. <laughs> y'all need bolt cutters, not pliers. I have an idea. No, no you don't. He always got an idea. your ideas anymore, okay? They suck. But I have one. All right, come follow me. Maybe there's an open window? They're doing all this okay, here. just because they didn't want to study. <gasps> I'm going up there? I thought you were going up there. Me? You got us into this mess. Yeah, you're going. Well, what if I get lost? I can't just breadcrumb out of it like Hansel and Gretel. You got a glow stick. Fire hose. Woo! Here. Are you it's telling me he's going to go through the roof? He's going to go through the roof to break out of this place? Damn, they ain't playing. Use the 
supposed to get through on their mission impossible. You'll never see me climbing through a vent. I have claustrophobia, so I'm pretty sure I would like have a panic attack. And there's probably like spiders and cobwebs and rats in there. No. I'll just wait for the cops. <laughs> I remember there, there was this badass kid in my uh, middle school. This man used to, <laughs> this man used to travel through the <laughs> ceilings, bro. <laughs> he would ask to go to the bathroom and that would be his entry point and he'll go through the ceilings and just go around the school there. Like he knew the layout. <laughs> he was a menace. Houston, we have a problem. What's the problem? Oh, somebody's there. I didn't even notice that. Someone there? So how is she Hello? gonna get out? Ms. McConnell, you still working? If the doors are locked, how is she gonna get out? <gasps> Spider! What did I tell y'all? You're an idiot, bro. I was calling you a hustler. I was calling you this and that. It seems it seems as if you're you're smooth brained. Ooh, he brought backup gear. Okay, what what are you gonna use the bubble gum from? What are you use the bubble gum from? What are you, what are you gonna use that hubba bubba bubble gum from? <laughs> okay, he's gonna make a sticky apparatus. What are you trying to obtain though? Of oh, the glow stick. This wouldn't work, just to let y'all know. Ooh, there you go! You got it, you got it, you got it! You did all that to correct your mistake. So, like, I don't want to give you props, because, like, you didn't have to drop the glow stick in the first place. Oh, must be those raccoons again. I was just about to say that. I was, gonna, I was gonna say, she's gonna be like, these damn coons! <laughs> like, how are you gonna leave? The doors are locked. How is she getting home? Maybe maybe she's sleeping in the school. What happened? I almost got eaten by a spider. This man eating happen? mad granola bars. Oh, I was hungry. I went out to eat yesterday, and um, not, not yesterday, or was it yesterday? Two days ago. Oh! oh now ew! What was that? Oh! Oh, great! I thought that was something else. Okay. Oh, great! He spilled his now juice. All of papers are ruined. You know? Now there's evidence that y'all were there. It's all over the. So non-absorbent. Teacher's lounge. There's probably some paper towels there. But I was at uh, a yeah. lunch dinner yesterday, and then I went well, uh, by this homeless you man. We missed the party. And he asked me if I had any money. To talk to Molly. I was like, "Sorry, bro, I don't got no money." And then after I got to like the car of whoever I was with, they had granola bars in their car. So they're like, you know, give the homeless man the granola bars. I'll be uh, nice. If he's probably hungry. And it was a no, big no, no, box no. of granola bars. Has to be something we haven't thought of. So I go over to this man and give him that big box of granola bars. And he look at me like, that's it? Like, <laughs> like he wanted money to buy rocks. He didn't want no damn granola bars. He took it though. But it was like, you could tell on his face, it's not what he wanted. <laughs> but he took it anyway. So, you know, I did my good deed. Owls there. Okay. Well, we officially missed the party. He's still thinking about Molly. Any chance to talk to Molly? There'll be other chances. I what she's doing right now. Not you. You've got other things to worry about. She's probably you being rizzed up by some other guys who it's did show up to the party. All night too. This is horrible. I think we should accept our fate and call for help. No, 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 no. There has to be something we haven't thought of. No, I don't think so. Asking for help, you My haven't thought of that. Used to say, the answer you're looking for, it's usually right in front of you. What kind of grandmas y'all be having, bro? Wait, stealing my lines now. Y'all grandmas no. love talking. My grandma actually used to say that. <laughs> She'd go, <laughs> "Hey, Sammy boy, 
If you ever lost, just remember that the answer is always right in front of you. Y'all grandma some damn anime characters. <laughs> always always give me a damn monologue. The, the door was unlocked. Like whenever a <laughs> whenever a anime character like dies or something. <laughs> the bee have like a flashback back to where they were they were alive, you know, and they're like talking to the main character. And then a random ass conversation, they'll just be like, if I ever die, I want you to live life to the fullest, man. Like, where the hell did that come from? Why would you die, bro? Like, what? <laughs> you know, they've been going off on a monologue, like, bro, what? <laughs> I want you to live your life to the fullest. <laughs> the answer. I shut up. <laughs> right in front of you. That door. Mm. The, the door was unlocked. Your girl likes it when I put on Vaseline in front of her. I thought you checked every door. Well, I might have missed this one. You won't get an A on that exam. I will personally lock you back in the school. I mean, you spill oh, juice. In the you can clean yeah, the you spill juice what? all over the paper, so like. Get, get fine, come home. I feel like the teacher's gonna think something's up, so she's gonna change the test. At last, the finish line. If I have to spend one more minute in this building after today, I'll scream. Ice cream, we all scream for ice cream. There go Molly. There go Molly. She's so tally with that body. Who is haughty, Molly? Damn, boy. Last day. This man dripping over her. <laughs> oh, goodness. <laughs> Perhaps this is the time. <laughs> To make my move. Who? <laughs> nah, we all know how it was. We all know how it was, bro. We all know how it was when we were young and we had a crush on somebody. It was nerve-wracking as hell. As you get older, it gets easier. But when you were young, it was nerve-wracking as hell, man. I feel him. I feel him, bro. I wasn't born a Riz Master. I had to become one through uh, practice and training. I went through a training arc. Last day. It's now or never. No. He's gonna fold. It's not now or never. He's gonna fold. If you don't, then I'll... No, no, no. You put that down. Take that out of your mouth. Badass little kid, bro. Hey! Who did that? I don't know. Choose your next words wisely, man. It's your moment. I'll make sure it doesn't happen again. Okay, Thanks. okay. Okay, decent. You know, I was hoping to see you at Kim's birthday party. My friend said you were coming. Yeah, I was. Done. Done. Done deal. Done deal. He doesn't even have to riz. He doesn't even have to riz, bro. Because she started the next conversation. He said, I'll make sure it never happens again. Thanks. I really wanted to see you at the birthday. Done deal. Done deal. If a girl said she wanted to see you or she wants to see you, bro. Done deal. Done deal. And I believe her too. It's not like some, oh, I wish I would have saw you at the party, like some friendly nonsense. No, she probably really wanted to see my man, my man, uh, uh, Hussein. I don't know his real name. <laughs> he looks like he looks like a Hussein. But let's just say I got knocked into doing something else. No worries. I'm actually having a graduation party this weekend. If Damn. you want to come. How many parties are you having, girl? Really? Yeah, sure. I'll give you the invite after class. All right, everyone. He was even rizzing. She was rizzing him. She she did all the work. I have okay, Molly. Finally, all my hard work from last week is about to pay off. Hard work. She definitely changed the test. Any studying? Don't be mad at me. You could have gotten the answers too, but no. You're too much of a goody two shoes. So much for Mrs. Malia's grandma's advice. Like either she switched the test, or you got a 100 and she doesn't believe it. 
bunch of baloney. So, I'm sorry, guys. I meant to get these back to you a few days earlier, but there was a slight mishap. And long story short, I had to create a whole new answer key. Woo! What? Did you say you had to make a new answer key? Yeah. Raccoons apparently got into the school's ventilation system over the weekend. When I got in Monday morning... Everybody always want to bl blame coons, bro. Desk and a bunch of food and drink was spilled all over everything. So, that means... Like, coons are just trying, they're just trying to make it in life, man. I will see you Monday morning, bright and early, for the next eight weeks. No! That's your own damn fault, bro. All you had to do was study. But instead, you wanted to yep. be Tom Cruise and play Mission Impossible and break in and leave mountains of evidence. You didn't even do a good job, bro. Completely your fault. I remember, I remember this video. This man was all oh, Walter White with it. <laughs> Let me go ahead and read my donations because y'all have been y'all have been so kind to me. Shannon Johnson, thank you so much for that donation. Been watching you for two years. Love you, Prince. Love you too, Shannon. Love you. I love you more than you love me. That's how much I love you. <laughs> Black Neon said, Prince, can you stream a Discord to promote him more and for a good li live stream idea? How does that even work? I'm gonna be so honest with you. I understand probably 5% of Discord. The other 95% of Discord goes over my head. That's why I have other people run it for me because I truly do not know how to run a Discord and I truly do not know all the features of Discord. So I'm probably gonna have to like watch like a YouTube video that tells me like what I can do with Discord. Cause in my head, Discord is literally like a place for y'all to like group chat with other people who have similar interests, like a Reddit page. But apparently you can stream to Discord. You can do this to Discord. You can do that to Discord. Like damn, Discord and Discord. Square is creamy. Thank you so much for that donation. Can I be a mod? I've been watching for five years. Didn't you just say two years earlier in the stream? That was five years? <laughs> Which one is it? <laughs> and uh, FNF Cat, thank you so much for that donation. Prince, can you play the new FNF Jeffy Mod 2.5? That is an actually a uh, game I can see myself playing because, you know, it's a quick game, quick uh, run, uh, a quick run through, not a full story mode game, so it's not going to take forever. So one stream will be, you know, playing enough to get it done. <clears throat> mm. That was a good burp. All right, let's go ahead and get into the next video. We got innocent girl sent to prison. What happens next is shocking. You better shock me, darn man. If you don't shock me, I'm gonna be highly upset. Bro, load. Get over here. Whoa. Who's getting an ass beat? Where you going? Please, please. Please, Ooh. Sorry. Sorry's not enough. Oh, no. Not this time. Jump his ass. There's two of y'all. Jump him. Another nightmare? Was that like, so we yeah. just flash forward? I think I'm just stressing about this view. Don't stress, girl. You got a good chance, I think. Did she like crack the abuser upside his head, kill him and end up in jail? I'm thinking that's what it was. Dackhouse, you have a visitor. Unlock cell 629. Damn it. I just ain't seeing you like this lately. I, I, so I'm thinking, I'm thinking she did, she no did kill that me. guy that was abusing her I mother. Mom, I should have Mom. Mom, no. I'd do it all again if I had to. Don't they record these I'm conversations? Not hurt you. <sighs> Did 
you hear back from the lawyer? I did. And, um... He said you're going to have to pay my retainer. Pay the last invoice. What did I tell y'all? <laughs> he's saying he's, he's no longer going to represent you. That's crazy. Because you didn't pay my last invoice. I feel like a failure all around. I'm okay with you going stop to jail it, for the rest it, of your no, life. No, no, no. <laughs> no, no, no. No, stop it. Listen, I'll just, I'll just, I'll just get a public defender again. Okay? No. Public defender? <laughs> That's just asking to go to jail. <laughs> Maybe the next one will be better. Let's just... Let's just keep faith, okay? Babe. I don't know, bro. If I was locked up in prison, it's going to be hard to keep faith, man. I can't do jail. I cannot. I'm snitching. I'm crying. I'm pooping my pants, everything. Jonathan Wilson, lawyer for the people. Thank you very much. Oh, he's alive. So, what happened? Is there not a lawyer present on this side of the table? Uh, I think he's running late, Your Honor. He ain't coming. I see. <laughs> well, we'll start with you, counsel. Please proceed. Thank you, Your Honor. My client, Officer Ronald Coote, was violently attacked by the defendant with a skillet. Oh, she beat you with a skillet? <laughs> She hit you with a Conker's Bad Fur Day he item. He was assaulted by the defendant's mother the night of June 5th, 2012. That's not true. That's not true. You know that's not true, Ron. Order. Order. Order in the court. Well, have you removed? Have you never seen Law and Order? You can't just be yelling stuff. I mean, they do it all the damn time in that show anyways. As I was saying before, I was so rudely interrupted. Based on the responding officer's observation of the defendant's conduct that day, they believe her to be extremely violent, a threat to others. We have a photo of my client displaying the harm that was inflicted upon see. him by the defendant. Damn, she cracked your ass. Based on the <laughs> I submit to the record today. Man, can you imagine the sound effect when she beat his ass with a skillet? Bing! There's a vibration in everything. <laughs> this man, you know, in the uh, cartoons, whenever they get knocked out and like they they see birds like flying around, like he literally saw that. <laughs> she hit you with a skillet. <laughs> that is such a black woman thing to do. <laughs> Sound effect, bing! <laughs> and she said, I'll do it again. Hell yeah, girl. Hell yeah. Because this man trying to lie on you. He's trying to send you to prison. Based on the... <laughs> Why did just look at her like that? He like, he like, damn, girl. Based on the... <laughs> damn, girl. Based on the... <laughs> I submit to the record today. <laughs> the decision for guilt for the charge of aggravated <sighs> was satisfactory. She's a menace to society. She's a violent human being. They ain't like she Ted Bundy, bro. She needs to remain behind bars. Thank you. Any word on your lawyer, Mr. Stackhouse? At this point, represent yourself. Your Honor, I don't know where he is. Oh, oh good morning. Oh, I apologize brother. apologize for the delay. Court was 10 minutes ago, Mr. Have Thomas. Have y'all seen that Drewski skit? Please state your appearance. <laughs> this is the lawyer yeah, you Ken don't Thomas. want. I'm the lawyer for Rochelle Smith. Rochelle Smith? This is a case for the people versus Aaliyah Stackhouse. Oh, right. Um, Sometimes free is it better. Somewhere. Counsel, this is unacceptable. First you're late, and now you're unprepared. Yeah, I'm sorry about that, Your Honor. It's just that huh, I'm juggling a whole bunch of clients right now, and the office is going through some budget cuts. But I'm sure the paperwork is in here somewhere. Unless I left them in the printer. I'm going to continue this hearing. Ms. Stackhouse, How the hell did you pass the bar, bro? Set for uh, approximately 30 days from now. 
Okay, okay. This gives her time to hire a new lawyer. So now she gets a court date, you know, so she's not she's not guilty just yet. Or this is a court date for her appeal, I guess. I'm sorry. Hey, Shushu! <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh my gosh. You're so lucky I'm already in uh, in handcuffs and I'm in the in front of a judge right now. Cause I would have bitch slapped this this attorney, bro. I'm sorry. Like what? I'm sorry. My uh, life is in well, your you know hands. Let's get together and discuss your case now that we have an extra thirty days. Uh, I don't know what my availability is, but actually, I think I may want a new lawyer. There you go. Don't play with your life. Great. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not thinking me that. Good luck. Oh my gosh, that guy is horrible. He said great. It wasn't getting okay. paid anyways. I mean, he is getting you paid, but, get you, a new public defense? you know, not much. No matter what, you can't lose this appeal. I don't know, but I'll, I'll think of something, okay? There's no way I'm going to let Ron get away with this. You know, the problem is Ron is a decorated cop. Okay, his people are going to protect him. I, I know, I know they covered everything up. That's what they do, protect their own. Yeah. And that's what I was doing too. And look where it got me. You're 15 years in this. 15 years? Look, look. Mm -mm, mm -mm. No, sir, no, sir. No, sir, no, sir. 15 years. 15 years. 15 years. You would have. No. <laughs> Bro, if the judge is ever, you know, bangs the, the gavel and says, I hereby sentence you to 15 years. I am going dead weight on everybody. I'm just gonna be like, <laughs> I'm going dead weight. You're never picking me up. I'm not going to jail. I'm not going to jail. I'm going dead weight on everybody. I'm gonna start peeing my pants so they don't want to touch me. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take off my pants because nobody wants to pick up a naked guy, right? I will do everything. I will, <laughs> my weight would be so dead. You're not picking me up, bro. I'm, I'm not going to jail without a fight, man. I don't know what you thought this was. 15 years? 15 years? 15 years ago, I was 11 years old. I was playing Pokemon, Pokemon Emerald on my Game Boy Advance SP. Was I 11 years old? But damn, 15 years. Yeah, they're gonna have to get that. They're gonna have to get that 15 years in blood, bro. I'm not leaving that courtroom. <laughs> Y'all gonna have to drag me. I'm gonna embarrass everybody. I don't care. I'm gonna be kicking and screaming. I no! No! <laughs> get off me! I'm gonna be kicking my feet. You know how you do when your siblings fight each other? Yeah! I just put my head in the and you didn't cost the arm and leg. <laughs> Uh, Have you ever thought maybe you don't need anyone? What do you mean? You independent. You don't need no man. You need is yourself. Mm. You're one of the smartest people I know. You could be your own attorney. No, no, that, that could never work. Okay, I hardly know anything about law. Well, it's not like you don't have time to learn. You ever heard of Tanya Briars? No. Who's she? She was a person in a similar situation as you. She couldn't afford an attorney or bail, so she decided to represent herself. And get this, she won, and when she got out of jail, she even became a lawyer. Ooh. Yes, and if she can do it, you can too. Okay. It's either that or you hire someone that doesn't care whether you spend the rest of your life in this paradise. Who would you rather trust? Them or yourself? I don't know. I'm kind of a procrastinator. <laughs> Alia decides to put her life in the hands of the person she trusts the most. Herself. herself. You know, there actually is a true story about From this. It was, on, a, it was a guy, though. Every free minute she has studying law. They even made a show about it on ABC, but it was a real she story. She researches everything she can about her case. Like, it was a guy who got framed by I I, I, for, I think it was like the lawyer, like the lawyer who put him in jail, the prosecutor who put him in jail, framed him. Can you imagine like the prosecutor, the person you are arguing with in court 
whether or not you're innocent or guilty is the person who was conspiring to put you in jail. Anyways, uh, he read a lot of law books in prison. He was able to get his appeal and prove his innocence. And then the lawyer slash prosecutor ended up killing himself because he was busted. Look it up. It's a true story. It's a 100% true story. I did not make up anything. And about her case. <clears throat> Slayer said, dang, 15 years? I wasn't even alive 15 years ago. She's now it's a long time, bro. Everything she learned in a real courtroom. You still spent how many years All in right. jail, though? Like, they're going to have to run me a fat check. The, the, the fattest check. You may be seated. Like, I need that check as fat as the, the, the back fat of the, the, second matter of the, the arm fat of uh, state your appearance. <laughs> the grandma who made the sweet potato pie on Thanksgiving. Good morning. Good morning, counsel. Thank you. <laughs> and is your attorney running late again? No. You're looking at her. Representing myself, your honor. You sure about that? They probably think it's funny as hell. Because usually if you represent yourself, you're going to jail. <laughs> like, please don't watch a TV show and think you can represent yourself. You will go to jail. You will. You will 100% unless you actually know law. Trust me. I mean, don't trust me. Try it for yourself. That is not me telling you to commit a crime. Unless that crime is um, forcing people to subscribe to me. Is that a crime? Because, you know, you're subscribing to me, so it's a good thing. All right, let's see. Let's let's see what you got, baby girl. My mother, Ariana Stackhouse, was in an abusive relationship with Officer Ronald Coop. For two years, I watched him physically abuse her. That's a lie. You saw the photo. You. Yeah, like slow your roll. You got to have your chance to talk. She gets her chance. <clears throat> I would I would beg her to leave him. But she didn't. But she always gave him another chance. And you know on this channel, you know, no, I'm I'm just going to be honest with it. I don't think this is victim blaming, but she's at fault too. I don't think it's victim blaming, but I think she has to take responsibility, bro. How are you going to let a man use your head as as, as a punching bag for two years. He's using you as a punching bag for two years. And you gave him a chance every single time. You always give him a new chance every single time. No, you, at some point you're culpable. Like if you go on a date, come home, and then you're, the date you just met, you know, slaps you upside your head. <laughs> That's not your fault. <laughs> but if you date somebody for two years, who wakes you up in the morning with a karate chop to the neck and who gives you a roundhouse kick if the eggs aren't cooked to perfection and you're still living with him, still giving up the coup, still giving him chances, at some point, you got to take the blame too. Like, yes, he is the one swinging and molly whopping you, but you're the one, you're the one taking it. Why don't you leave? It's not like cops make a lot of money and you need his money. You feel me? Do y'all feel me? Or is that is that something that will get me, you know, canceled? Because I feel like that's something you should feel me on. Y'all feel me? Leave him. But she always gave him another chance. So I didn't get involved. But on the night of June 5th, 2012. She got receipts. I had no choice but to step in. He saw that picture. You see? She picked up that skillet. <laughs> Ron had gotten home after a night of drinking. He was very aggressive. This was Even years ago. She's been in jail for a that while. Night, the arguing got so bad that it even woke me up. Like she's when a little I girl in this. Body hit the floor. I knew my mom was in trouble. The body the so floor. I ran out of my the room. Let the bodies hit the floor. Let the My bodies hit the floor. <laughs> Who remembers that song? <laughs> I hope I didn't 
scream too loud in the mic. I felt like I did. Who remembers that song, bro? <laughs> song will be on like all of the AMV animated music videos for the animes like you'll be watching like an AMV for Naruto or Dragon Ball Z or this or that uh <laughs> let the bodies hit the let the body and then, and then you know you're gonna watch those dope ass AMV well what, 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 what was there um I try so hard and now I know in the end, it doesn't even matter. They use that in AMVs a lot. <laughs> I'm over here unlocking memories for y'all. All right, let's get back to this video. Let's see what she's about to do with this skillet. She's about to go conquer his bad fur day. my mom was in trouble. So I ran out of my room. Sorry if I ruptured your eardrums. I didn't mean to. My mom was on the ground. And Ron was standing over her. What a gun? A blicky? He's about to hurt her even more. Okay, no, he don't got no blicky. So I, I grabbed that skillet. That's when I did the only thing I could think of. I grabbed a skillet off the table. Mink! <laughs> oh, she I did a back a swing. Off the table and hit him. Whoa! That's extra I force, guys. A off the table and hit him with. Cause she twisted her body. Like if you if you know anything about boxing, like when the police came, if you if you twist your body, our side, you deliver way more power. Finally so doing over. like that, Teddy. whoa! She cracked his ass. No Let me run it back. When the police came, this man said, "Yeah!" Ouch! Y'all know that Tom and Jerry's. <laughs> <laughs> I grabbed the skillet off the table. Ouch! Yeah. <laughs> when the police came, ah. we thought they'd hear our side, and this nightmare would finally be over. I mean, he a cop, so like, that what'd is, you expect? Until we realized no one wanted to hear our side. Cops have each other's backs. Since Ron was a cop, they only wanted to hear his. At the end of the night. So you got arrested for assaulting a police officer? Damn. At the end of the night, <laughs> we were the ones in handcuffs, not him. I'll never forget that smug look Ron had on his face as we were taken out. Can you imagine, bro? That's crazy. So you see, Your Honor? <clears throat> That's what really happened that night. Your Honor, Come like on. we have heard all of this before. Your Honor, like oh word. Right? And the police report <laughs> completely contradicts that story. I was the victim, all right. I was the one that had all the injuries. You will have your chance to speak. Right now, it's her turn. Hmm. Go ahead, baby girl. He is right. None of what you said here today changes the facts we have before us. So unless you have another argument as to why your case should be overturned. Oh, there's more. Ooh. Your Honor. Ooh, she came prepared. Ooh, she came big prepared. She came big As prepared. I was saying, <clears throat> before I was rudely interrupted, the constitutional issue in this case is the internal misconduct of the La Poma Police Department. Mm. Me, a 14 year old girl at the time was arrested and charged as an adult for aggravated assault mm. when I was only <clears throat> defending my mother from her abuser. My mother tried to press charges that night against Officer Coot for domestic violence. Mm. But her claims were never addressed and Officer Coot was never held responsible. Your name is Officer Coot. He charged his testimony <laughs> that they didn't have probable cause that domestic violence occurred. His name is Officer Coot. He is guilty. A name like Coot, you're exactly. guilty. Right? Yes. yes, Your Honor. But according to Penal Code 243 PC, self-defense is a legal defense against domestic battery. Ooh, she know and penals. According to the Castle Doctrine, one can even use self-defense in defense of himself or someone else in the home. Mm. So I wasn't the aggressor. I was only defending my mother. 
Mm. Therefore, I should not have been charged for aggravated assault. Mm. Is that going to work, though? None of the officers found mm. that Mr. Poot was perpetrator. So unless you have any additional information... Don't give up. You, you got to have something. You, There's one more thing. Then why are you saying it for last? You should have you started exactly. with that. Mom, of course she's going to say whatever she has to to help you out here. It's not my mom. Who is it? It's... Who's that? Is that your this old partner? Is Ramirez. Did you hit her too? Oh! At the La Poma Police Department. Oh, she's finna blow the whistle. She was one of the arresting officers who took <clears throat> me in that night. We got a whistleblower. We'll hear your testimony then, officer. Objection. On what grounds? <laughs> Go ahead, Ms. Ramirez. Thank you. Your $1,000 an hour uh, lawyer couldn't do shit. I worked for for 10 years and... I remember that night very well. You see, at first I thought Miss Stackhouse was responding in self-defense, but then I let another officer persuade me otherwise and went along with reporting Miss Stackhouse as the aggressor. <clears throat> so you're just as you're just as guilty then. It sat with me for a long time. You're just as guilty. Something in my gut told me it wasn't right. And then I found out something even more shocking. It wasn't the only time Ron was involved in a domestic dispute. So he really likes this hitting black women. And each time he called on one of his friends to clear it all up. Ron got a tie. He was using me as a pawn in all of this. And every time, Ron walked away scot free. Wow, bro. So you see, you're throw Ron to the dogs. I to find out there were many more instances. Of Let him get ripped apart, this. limb by limb. But when I went to the head of the department. I was told I'd make the department look bad if I said anything. And I may never work in law enforcement again. So I decided to resign instead. But when Aaliyah contacted me, I knew I couldn't stay silent any longer. <clears throat> the real criminal has to pay the consequences for this. Your Honor, everything you've heard. Like I said, bro, like she is just as guilty. She is just as guilty, not as guilty, not as guilty. I'm glad that she had a change of heart and she's deciding to speak the truth now because, you know, without this, that girl would probably still be in jail and her appeal would be overturned. But still, you went along with it for years. Like that girl was in jail for years. Y'all understand that? Like she was locked up for something that she should not have been locked up for for years. Because that lady went along with it. Compliance, compliance is, is damn near the same thing as doing it yourself, bro. Like if you see somebody being jumped on the street and you're, and you eh, nah, that's a different story. If I see somebody getting jumped, why am I going to stop it? I ain't trying to get jumped too. <laughs> like, like maybe he, he did something for them to want to jump him. Maybe he's a bad guy. I shouldn't jump to conclusions. I want to go home tonight. <laughs> Back to the video. <laughs> Man, you play this. I pay the consequences for this. Your Honor, everything you've heard here is a lie. I'm the one that was attacked and there is no evidence to prove otherwise. Actually, I've got it right here. So you're just sitting on evidence that could have freed me from jail this whole time? I'm gonna have a stern talking to you, young lady. Woo! He has a type. Okay, no, never mind. He likes to beat the white girls too. I've seen everything I need to see here. You little rat. I'm gonna call my friend up. Now it's done. <laughs> I'm sure after this, you're not gonna have anything. You're going to jail now. Oh, and the things they do to cops in jail? Oh, man. You're going to pay for this. Oh, you're going to pay. Enjoy your time behind bars. He's going to have many in bars all the evidence, going in him. I'm ruling in favor of Aaliyah Stackhouse. <laughs> now run me my money for false imprisonment. Run me my money for all the years that I I'm spent in jail. The department-wide investigation into the La Palma Police Department. Why don't you launch justice is served. Why don't you why don't you launch this lawsuit? We'll figure out some 
equitable arrangement. There we go. That's what I wanted to hear. Thank you, Mr. Ramirez. Equitable money. She ain't paid. This case is dismissed. I don't know though. How many how many years can they take away from your life that you'll be okay with receiving money for? My maximum is one year, two years. No, hell no, one year. I better get paid a million dollars for that one year. Miss Stackhouse? Yes. Someone's here for you. Okay. Oh, she got out of jail too. Oh okay, they both doing better. Who's out? Oh my god, it's so good to see you. She just got That's out. Amazing. You do too, Miss Big Shot. She must have stabbed her ex-boyfriend. <laughs> Cause she's just getting out. <laughs> The black the black girl's been out. <laughs> it seems like everything's working out well. Yeah, well, I owe a lot of it to you. No, 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 I mean, if you never. What did I tell you? The only person I need is myself. But you still help me realize that, so I do owe you. Nah, you don't owe me anything. <laughs> Actually, wait. If you're offering, do you want something? Of would course. you be able to get me a job? What? It's hard getting a job with a criminal record, which is actually something I wanted to ask you about. Um, now that you're an attorney, can you help me expunge my record? Damn, you want everything. Wait, a job and free legal All you did was tell me to read a book. <laughs> I thought you said I didn't owe you anything. Well, just a little help with that. <laughs> yeah. Oh, fine. Yay. You just told me to read a book. I did everything myself. It's expunge your own record. No, I'm kidding. I'll help her out. I'll help her out. Because she probably helped her, you know, remain sane while she was locked up. Because it's one thing to be locked up for a crime that you did. Like, yes, you're still miserable. Yes, you're still pissed. You're angry at the world. You're depressed. But you did the crime. So, like, you know, you can't be that bad. <laughs> Versus you're actually truly innocent. Oh my gosh, every single day will be torture to you because you'll just, you will, you'll just know you're not supposed to be here. That, that somebody made a grave mistake. That this is not what is supposed to be happening. It's a totally different feeling. So I would help her out because, you know, you never know when you may need help in the future, bro. You never know. All right, let me read these donations because y'all have been so kind to me. So, so kind to me. Uh, Grimario Gaming said, do you know about the Darman protests? I thought they ended. I thought they ended already, right? Because I've been seeing a lot of the old actors coming back. I saw Jay. We just watched a video with Jay. They're not cool. They're not cool. Ted, Ted, Teb, thank you so much for that donation, bro. Appreciate you so much. Kai the God, thank you so much for that donation, bro. Appreciate you. Nemo, thank you so much for being a member for two months. He said, hey, Prince, you should play Little Nightmares 2. I played the first one. I do remember playing the first one, and that creeped the hell out of me. You know, the second one may be fun. Let me check it out. Uh, your mom's a fat pig. Thank you so much for that donation. He said, here's my late fee. Thank you so much for paying. Ted, Ted, Teb, with another no, no. And Toby Kurosaki, thank you so much for that donation. These videos are so dumb. The ending is the same. <laughs> hey, just just enjoy. Just enjoy. Like, they're lighthearted, you know? You don't got to take them too seriously, bro. All right. We got millionaire fakes being poor for girl. He lives to regret it. YouTube, I don't know why you're trying to act like you don't want to load. Like, load. There you go. So this is the millionaire, I assume. Oh, brother. Hi. You must be Griselda. I'm Maxwell. It's so nice to meet you. You're late. Oh, well, only by nine minutes. I'm sorry. I should have been here on time. I just had an urgent meeting at work. You're not like some kind of CEO, are you? Please tell me you're not. Wow. I would figure most women would like a guy that owns his own business. I'm not most women. I feel like rich guys are always like... Um, hold on a second. Did I order it medium well? No. I did not. I ordered it medium rare. I'm sorry, sir. I can have the chef cook you another one if you... Forget it, all right? I have a meeting with a big client and you have already taken up enough of my time. Take it back, put it in a box, and I'll feed it to my dog. Yes, sir, right away. I'm so sorry, that. guys. I I got um, attachments, I, six you images. Must be <laughs> so nice to meet you. You're late. Y'all don't know what that oh, means. Well, 
by nine minutes. I'm sorry. I should have been here on time. I just had an urgent meeting at work. You're not like some kind of CEO, are you? Please tell me you're not. Wow. I would figure most women would like a guy that owns his own business. I'm not most women. I feel so like rich guys are always like... <clears throat> Um, hold on a second. She doesn't like rich guys? Did I order it medium rare? Okay, this no, is gonna be... I did not. I ordered it medium rare. Okay, Owen Wilson, I relax. I can cook you another one if you... Forget it, all right? I have a meeting with a big client and you have already taken up enough of my time. Take it back, put it in a box, and I'll feed it to my dog. <laughs> <laughs> this is why God made me a YouTuber. And that's why God didn't, didn't put me in a position where I had to deal with customers. Because you are not going to yell at me like this. You're, you're simply not. You're simply not. <laughs> I'm just telling you that right there. Right there, then and now. You are not going to talk to me that way. And me say yes, sir, right away. Oh, hell no, nah, boy. I wouldn't physically hit you or anything like that, but I'll get pretty darn close. Pretty, pretty, pretty darn close. Take it back, put it in a box, and I'll feed it to my dog. Yes, sir, right away. I don't care, just get out of here. <laughs> yeah, French guys are always like that. Oh, couldn't be me. And that's why I don't date them. I see. Well, you don't have to worry about me. I just have a little old sales associate job at a finance company. Okay, so he's going to pretend to be poor because she doesn't like rich guys. I mean, if it's important, you should definitely take it. No, wow. It's just my Crazy. Assistant. Usually I'm girls. My uh, assistant manager. I mean, usually guys managers, fake being poor. Of it. That way they don't like I get you attract guys a gold digger. Uh, yes, uh, I'm going to do the ribeye and tell the chef he can cook it any way he'd like. I'm not that picky. Oh, that was a lot of fun. Yeah, I had a pretty good time. Sorry for drilling you. My mom says I'm too direct, which is ironic because I get it from her. <laughs> oh, I love that you're so direct. Oh. Ah, it saves a lot of time. So you can thank your mom for me. I sure will. <laughs> so how are you getting home? Um, same way I always do. Hey, do y'all ki kiss the girl after the first date? <clears throat> I always try to. And by try to, I usually always succeed. There's only one time a girl didn't kiss me after the first date. Like, what? Like, how old are we? She was 22. I'm like, how old are we? Like, the hell? I took you on a whole ass date. You're not going to kiss me. But then she want to come over to the crib the next week. Like, you don't kiss me, but you want to come over and sleep over? She realized she, she, she realized she was missing out. She realized she missed out. Because they, they don't know. They don't know what I, ha I can bring I to the will. table. Until like so afterwards. You know? Same way I always do. They find me on social Plus. media. Oh, wow. Do you need a ride? Uh, mm. I promise I'm not a serial killer. <laughs> Actually, how many hits does it characterize to become serial? I would definitely say more than three. Oh. I, think, I think like four or five. I'm definitely not a serial killer though. <laughs> well, darn. Mm. <laughs> See, this is what I mean. Look at this Porsche parked over the line. Rich people in their fancy cars are so entitled. Anyways, where did you park? Oh, <clears throat> actually, I am um, right around the corner. You know what I just realized? I have to be somewhere, so I'm not going to have enough time to drop you off. Oh. I'm so sorry. Oh, it's okay. Don't okay. worry about it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can I check this? Yeah. Hi, Frankie. Who, who Frankie? That's my favorite boy in the whole world. Look, I won a soccer trophy at school today. Oh, Damn, yeah. Frankie. Honey, I'm so proud of you. Frankie got ADD. I wish you could be there, Mom. <laughs> I wish I was too. I am. Um... Listen, I'm so sorry, honey, but I, I need to call you back later, okay? And I want to hear all about it. Is okay. she on a date right now? She ain't you. got time. Te Bye, ma. Te quiero también. That probably just ruined her chances. Eh, no, he, he, he's, he's an older guy. I would say he's in his, you know, mid 30s. So that's not a deal breaker to men in their mid 30s. Like, if you're in your 20s, deal breaker. You have a kid, get out of my face. I'm not even going to entertain. <laughs> and, 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 you, you, know, you know what I mean. You know what I mean. Not much 20-year-olds want to, you know, mess around with a single mother. 
But I, it's a complicated case, you know. If she's bad enough, you don't care how much kiss she got. <laughs> but she probably could have just ruined her whole entire date right there by answering the phone okay. with her kid. Okay. I love you. He's like, damn. He's like, damn, she got baggage? So that was your son that you were telling me about? Yeah. He's my whole world. Oh, I can imagine. And he lives with you, right? Um... It's, uh, it's complicated. He, he lives with my mom, who's, uh, sick right now. And I don't get to see them much. Um, would it be okay if we not talk about this right now? Oh, absolutely. Wow. No, I totally understand. I'm sorry. T not touchy, no, okay. touchy subject. No! You want food for you and your little creep? You should get a job and stop banging for it. You people make me sick. Damn, bro, just go home. I'll be right back. Yeah. Just go home, like... He, he's trying to take his, his frustration and anger out on everybody. Oh, thank you. My son hasn't eaten all day. You have no idea how much this means to us. He also hasn't exfoliated. You got, I got doo doo on your face. We fine. Let's worry about you, okay? <laughs> Y'all climbing up chimneys? Here, all that, can, uh, that suit on that. your face. All that suit on your face. There you go. Hopefully, you don't have to spend the night on the street. Oh my gosh, thank you. They said when you need to you uh, so uh, put your fingerprint, you just wipe your, her face. And <laughs> All right, that was a stretch. <laughs> the chimney one was probably the funniest $100 one, right? $100 is a lot of money. You must be a really great salesperson. He got it like that. You know. What kind of girl doesn't like rich really? guys? I can understand, like, sounds like the, perfect match. the stereotypical yeah. rich guy, but. Mm -hmm. There's just uh, one little problem. What? She hates rich guys. You're telling me there's a girl in LA that doesn't like rich guys? Right. I'm well, as, I'm as shocked as she is. So you're loaded. But since you told her the truth and she agreed to another date, it'll be all right. He actually lied. You know, man. You did tell her. You know, man. We lie. <laughs> I no, look. I just wanted her to get to know me. Men, you know, men, 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 entitled rich jerks that she dislikes. Mm. Oh, by the way, I'm gonna take her to Craig's next week. Think that, that's a good idea? Is that Have fancy? Your head. No, fancy restaurant. You can't take a girl to Beverly Hills unless you want to think you've got money, and you're not fooling anyone with that or this suit. To be honest, you're right. Wow, you're a lifesaver. Can I say? What's wrong with I'm a guy who, who who dressed good? Like, I don't like the fact that you're lying. It's like I always tell my son. She won't be able to tell you're a millionaire off of a suit. Oh, you're right. I, I'm going to tell her. Uh, like, right before our three-month anniversary. <laughs> if we make it that far. Yeah, like, I guess I it's, it's not something fast. that needs to be mm -hmm. told immediately. <clears throat> Tip? He wants a tip? What? Um. Can I borrow your car? Oh, well, then how am I gonna get home? Ugh, she get an upgrade! Oh. She get a whip and a Porsche. You know, I do owe you. <laughs> you owe me nothing. Oh, great. Because I've been wanting to drive a Porsche. But you make sure you tell that sweet girl the truth. Hmm? What kind of car she whipping? Ford Focus. And soon. She don't. She don't want it soon. She want to. She want to whip that Porsche around. Look at her. She gonna call all her girlfriends. Bitch, look where I at. Ah! <laughs> oh my god. You sure? Ah, middle aged dating. I never want to be in this situation. But no one will you take my <laughs> Roses. Roses for the pretty lady. Absolutely. How much for the bouquet? Fifty dollars. Damn! One is enough. One? Yes. One. Thank you so much. Here you go. Enjoy. Fifty dollars? That's highway robbery. You know I can you know you know I can go outside and pick flowers for free. <laughs> Yes, the Michelin, that's good stuff. Yeah, but this one is buy one, get one free. I did notice the deals. 
I won't get one free. I mean, save money, save time. Don't forget the the free one. Oh, good job. <laughs> oh, thank you. Thank you. I don't get it. Like, just tell her you have some money. Like, you don't got. Damn, he's uh, hungry. He's beautiful on you. Look at that. He's grubbing. I feel you, bro. I feel you, bro. Wow, That's this sad. Beautiful on you. Look at that. Oh, I love it. Oh, no. Come on. Come on. Look at this. Yeah, I'm not spending a thousand dollars on some jewelry for a girl. Fifty bucks. She likes the little things. Thank you again. For That's kind of hot. Necklace. That's kind of hot. She oh, likes the she likes the well, little I things. I really like you. <laughs> I'll look at it as a anniversary gift. Oh yeah, today marks three months, doesn't it? Three months. Still feel bad you spent so much. You should be saving your money, not spending it all on me. Um, yeah, about that, Griselda. Man, he's been spending his his pocket change. Okay. <laughs> the, the change between the couch. That's what he's been spending on you. He rich. When we first met, I said that I was uh, a sales associate. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. But in reality, I, uh, I'm, I'm a, I... Wait, hold that. I, I wanna... Work. That was your moment. Uh, that was your moment right there. Uh, hola, ma. Uh, grandma wants to talk to you. Hola, mija. Como estas? <coughs> hey, mom, you don't sound so good. Are you okay? Ay, mija, no te preocupes por mí. Cuéntame de ti y de tu chica. That is the thing about parents, bro. That is the thing about parents. It is always, don't worry about me. What about you? Man, I, 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 I hope, I hope majority of y'all, because I know, you know, all of y'all probably haven't, but I hope majority of y'all had parents like this, man, who truly, truly, got happiness just from you being happy like don't worry about me we i want to know about you and my grandson it's that is that kind of parent love bro like it's beautiful it's always so beautiful to, to me because clearly she going through it like she probably got fibromyalgia or something like she going through it but like she don't want to worry them she want don't do it to yourself grandma we care about you too we want we want to see you we want to see you live a long life I'm going to worry about you. Um, he's actually right here. Hi. Hi, I'm Maxwell. Ooh, oh, a gringo. About you, and I have to say you Don't they like gringos? Job raising your daughter. Gringo is uh, a <laughs> so uh, white. It's nice people. to meet you, Maxwell. Who's that man, Mommy? Um, this is Mommy's um boyfriend. Um, your mom's boyfriend. And me and my boyfriend are on a date, so I'm gonna call you back later. And I really love you guys so much, okay? Uh, okay. Uh, bye, mom. Te quiero. Te queremos. It's really not the same. Someone said Ringo Starr so looking. Mother. Mother. <laughs> I don't mean to pry. But Ringo Starr. I just wanted to ask, why aren't you with them? Um, it's a really long story. I don't feel ready to talk about it with you. But. I don't want you to think I'm keeping secrets, okay? Oh, no. I wasn't thinking that at all. Okay. Um, were you going to tell me something about your job, I think? I was? Uh-huh. No, nah, if she if she keeps anyway. secrets, you can keep secrets. It's not been important. Yeah. But you know what is important? Since she don't want to tell you Are her about her life. Have our anniversary dinner tomorrow? Yes. But I was thinking that maybe instead of going out to eat, we could cook at home, save some money. It would be more special. How about your place? I thought she was going to say something cringe like, you we can stay at home and place? you can eat me. I ain't no I don't think that's caloric benefit. Good idea. It's a horrible idea. I know, I know. But I told her my place was a complete mess and so we couldn't bring her here. Hey, are you insulting my work? Squeaky clean. No. I know it's squeaky clean. You do an amazing job. You know that. I just can't show her how I live. But you said you were gonna tell her within three months. Like if I ever, if I ever hire like a live-in maid nanny, like I, I, I want to like be cool with her like that. Like I can have a conversation with her. She can give me advice. Like that's how I would want it to be. Like don't get me wrong, it'll still be the boss and employee relationship, but I'll be cool with them. You know, just like if you ever seen the show Two and a Half Men, how Charlie Sheen was with his, uh, his nanny housewife. 
maid, whatever you want to call her, house worker, cleaning lady. And then I got scared. But don't worry, I promise. Tonight's tonight. Tonight. We are. You won't believe this. My apartment flooded. Everything okay? No. Her place flooded. Ooh. Now she's she suggesting to come here. I'm just gonna. I'll just tell her uh, we'll go out. You know, if you were honest, you wouldn't be in this situation. Well, if I was honest, then I wouldn't be with her at all. Touche. I mean, but now that she knows you're not a stereotypical douchey rich guy, like, she probably oh wouldn't gosh. mind. She thinks that I'm trying to hide a wife here. <laughs> what? What am I gonna do? I mean, it's not you the first time. Tell her. <laughs> I can't uh, tell her. Your father could told. be out there right face now with his secret family, and y'all y'all have no idea. Look, you don't really have a choice. But you have you honest. have a half brother. You have no idea place, about. No, you're not a sales associate. It's not like you have some crappy apartment like my place. <laughs> That's it. Your place. Let me borrow your place for tonight. No, not even tonight. I just need it for a few oh, hours. Please. Absolutely not. You got no way. No how. You can I'm stay in my place. Values and morals and ethics. And you know what? I would never stoop down to your level and mislead this beautiful you're, young You're going to stoop down. Double your salary this Money month. talk. Money yeah, talk. Deal. Money talk. Be out before I get back. Woo Look what you money make of it, oh, dude. I'm never going to help you again. I'm serious. Look what money make of it, do. He's never going to tell her. He's never. Mm. Can I get that for you? Santi Ramos, yeah. thank you so much for that donation, bro. I'm a big fan. Thank Please kind of get a mod and a shout out. It's I do see you in the on the channel a lot. Well, it's I'll not over yet because I have a regular a big mod. surprise for you. I think you're really gonna like it too. Really? Yep. But first, dessert. Okay. Mm. Cheap well, ice cream. I can't wait for my surprise, so let's get some bowls. Bowls? Yes. Okay. I got the bowls. You don't know where you keep your bowls? I um, just, I misplaced it. Time to time bowls. Thank you. And I will take a spoon. Ooh. You want? You don't know where your spoons are? No, I, I have Here. a right here. Damn, uh -huh. what's up with uh, all the yeah. questions? Uh -huh. Oh, I thought she was gonna see like a- Christina Jackson. Like oh, Tampax. They they're always getting the address <laughs> mixed up. It's so weird. You have a wife and a kid. This is why you didn't want me to come here. Yeah. 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 yeah he totally has he totally has a kid. He totally has a kid. <laughs> kid just somehow turned out to be darker than both parents, but you know. This is why you didn't want me to come here. No. It's not what it is, I swear. Well, then you better tell me what's going on before I walk out that door. Oh, okay, okay. I will. I just don't get mad. There is something that I have to tell you. But it's not what you think. It's not. I'm not married. I don't have a kid. The woman is Christina, and she's my maid. I'm rich, bitch. This is her apartment. And I know that I told you that I am a sales associate. But the truth is... I'm a CEO of a company. So you've been lying to me since the moment we met? No, that wasn't my intention. I just thought that if you found imagine that, that being well, imagine being embarrassed that you're rich. Chance, <laughs> but I knew that if you just got to know me, you would realize that not all people with money are bad. You That's think you're true. proving that to me right now? You know how I feel about secrets. Oh come on. You've been keeping secrets from me this whole Thank time. Thank you. What about your son? Thank you. Huh? And your mom. Go off. Why don't they live with you? Go off. Don't go around acting like you're this perfect little angel. Let her know. You want to know why my family was separated from me? Now she's going to give you a soft story and now you're you're going to be the jerk. You see, she's going to twist you it. See, yep. <laughs> a while ago. Now we're going to be the I jerks. I was on a student visa and not allowed to work. So my mom was fully supporting Frankie and I. She was the hardest worker I knew. You gotta and love parents, loyal. man. You gotta love parents. The company my mom worked for was getting ready to go public. A hundred And while G's? they gave all their top executives big bonuses, whoa, a lot of the bottom level employees got fired. <laughs> Why are you looking at her mom, like that? You look at her fired. like she trash. 
<laughs> including my mom. Nah, man. Just this, so the company could make this is too hilarious, man. After years of loyalty, they treated her as she was just nothing. After that, we really struggled. Since my mom was on a work visa, and that company was her sponsor, it was hard for her to get other jobs. We used up all of our savings and we fell behind on bills. Ooh. Things got so bad that a lot of the days- Yeah, a nice ass fridge though. In the fridge. So, my mom fridge nicer decided than mine. that the best thing to do was to move back to our old family home. She even took Frankie with her. I wanted to go with them so bad. But she wanted me to stay in hopes of giving me a better life. I remember crying so hard that day and promising that no matter what, one day, I'd have enough to bring them back. So that's what, that's what I'm confused about, like, Okay, you don't like rich guys. Yes, you have morals and values and ethics. Good for you. If they do. But like, why are you getting th this upset at him about a secret? Like, it really wasn't even a secret. Like, does he really owe it to you to tell you how much money he makes? Like, honestly, really think about it. Like, does a guy owe it to you to tell you how much money he makes? No, he doesn't. Like, he didn't ask you how much you made. So why are you upset that he makes a lot of money? Bro, you can do better than her. <laughs> you can do better than her, bro. You're a millionaire and you're putting up with this? So you see? He a millionaire putting up with this. I and you keep it from you because I wanted to keep secret. And she got a kid, like. I kept it from you because it is incredibly hard to talk about. Like, bro, you can. And you already knew that. <laughs> and this. This is exactly why I don't trust rich people. Oh my gosh! Take your broke ass home then. Look, Goodbye. I'm sorry that you and your family. Goodbye. Your Enjoy your food That's stamps. The person, I would never treat my employees like that. Hmm. I'm supposed to believe that. Why? Our entire relationship is based on a lie. Goodbye. Sorry, please don't. Bro, you're a millionaire. You you can get a batter a batter girl by the time she walks to her car. That's your apartment up there, isn't it? She out here dressing like that man. He's a liar. Uh, just have like Link. Link's a good man. He isn't. <laughs> she finna go save He's Hyrule. Like the rest of <laughs> That's not true. <laughs> Y'all know how Link never talks. <laughs> you just don't know him like I do. He's different. Very different. All these people are exactly the same. All they care about is themselves. Hold on. I can show you, okay? I have a son just like you. His father and I, we didn't work out. He didn't treat me well. And he went and hired a high power attorney to try to get custody of my son. I didn't have a lawyer, and I just knew I was going to lose that case. I was so worried. But Maxwell, at the last second, swooped in and got me the best representation without me even asking. Not only did I win, he refused to let me pay him back. He did? He did. And he also helped my son graduate from college. Oh. First one in our family. Oh, now you want him. Congratulations. Thanks. See, now she feeling him. Couldn't have happened without Maxwell. She said, oh, oh, your son got to go to college? Last year. Ooh. <laughs> I needed surgery, <laughs> and I couldn't afford it. But Maxwell, he used his own money to pay my medical Damn, bills. Maxwell. And again, without me even asking him. Can you pay for my enlargement I surgery? If it wasn't for him. Since we just handing out money? I know that line to you was wrong. I told him that. But he's got a big heart. And he loves people deeply and will do anything for people in need. Please, 
Just give him another chance. Zelda. Please. <laughs> don't go. He's standing in that. You know what I did was wrong. In that doorway, like he. <laughs> Uh, like he's chance. in a 90s romance movie. Chance, I promise I will never lie to you ever again. Christina you even warned me. You're, you're doing awful law for a broke for a Truth broke girl. Come out in the end. <laughs> I'm sorry that I didn't listen to her. And to be clear, there's nothing wrong with broke. There's nothing wrong with broke. Not even and there's not even a single thing wrong with broke. I'm just saying, like. If a girl is gonna get mad at me because I have money, goodbye, get out of my life. Like what? How are you gonna be upset that I have money? Like you, you make no sense. Look at you, coconut head, orango, orango tan head, melon nose. I'm sorry. Banana man. lips. I kept all these secrets from you. Nonsense. What you did was wrong and you hurt me. I got bags Come though. On. How bad did I hurt you? I got money. How bad can I hurt you? Why you did it. She tripping, yo. I want to give us another chance. <laughs> she wants to give her son a chance to go to college. <laughs> she don't listen to her from now on. Ooh. You'll be letting yourself get played yeah. on these darn man videos. No. Perfect timing. Yeah. Okay. And who was that? Just the last gift. Our anniversary. A new car? Oh. Her family. Did pretty good, huh? Boy, you almost lost everything if it wasn't for me. She cool, she cool, she you cool. Double my salary? Mm -hmm. Go on and triple it. Don't act like you don't got it. Give me my keys. I'm tired. See, now you're pushing it. Triple your salary? Okay. Triple your salary? You don't lost your damn mind, girl. <laughs> you don't lost your damn mind. Triple your salary. <laughs> I'm gonna triple the amount of dishes I put in the sink. If that's the case. <laughs> yo, 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 yo. Y and Hugo, thank you for that donation. Santi, thank you so much for becoming a member, bro. And Grimario Gaming, thank you so much for that donation. Hope you guys enjoyed this live stream. It was very dope. I enjoyed it, I had fun. Uh, lots of good jokes, lots of good laughs. Make sure you are following the Discord. Link is pinned to the top of this live chat, but since this live is gonna end, you can just, you know, go to the description of this video, or you can simply type in discord.gg slash Prince Charming. It's pretty easy, very easy link to remember. Join the Discord, help support your boy. Drop a like on this video. Don't forget to subscribe. And if I made you laugh, you know, consider Consider sharing this video with a friend if I made you laugh. And I hope I did make you laugh. Because, you know, that's my job. And I like making you laugh. I don't know what else to say. But yeah, that was it for this live stream. Until next time, guys. It's been your boy, Prince of Hawkum. Stay charming, my friends. Huh! <laughs>